Okay, and we are live. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it like that. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Brandon Boy. Better get him with their full four live stream. That's about as fast as I can do it. Oh, there's the bot. Nice. Do death. Yeah, the bot's still resetting there. Crash reset. Okay, zero, zero. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's still at zero, zero, whatever. I'll just count it for each stream then. OMG. Rock seller is number one. A rock seller, a real one for real. That boy be selling rocks. Holy crap, that's crazy. I thought that's good. <clears throat> Sweet. Alright, let's put this in Discord. <laughs> That's right. That's the right one, right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> it is time to game. Kill something. <laughs> this fucking guy in the chat. That's good. What's the plan today? I'm gonna do this mission and do do some missions, you know? I'm gonna do some of the some of the missions for the railroad. I usually don't get this far with him. <clears throat> I usually just do like the first mission just to get to like <laughs> whenever I first started playing Fallout 4, right? On like a vanilla mostly. I was like, yeah, I'll just play this to get the deliver and then be be done. Like, see ya. <laughs> So my character's sick, what the hell? Down with the sickness. A uh, woo wa uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Alright, where'd you go? Let's do this. I'm gonna have arrows. It's starting to get a little bit low. Air crossbow bullets in. I always love it whenever, like, whenever Bethesda have the ha has these factions and you can't just fast travel out of, like, their headquarters. You have to run down this long-ass tunnel. I think the railroad might be the worst. Or maybe it's the Thieves' Guild. I think the Thieves' Guild's probably the worst, actually, from Skyrim. Like, you gotta, you gotta run a pretty good ways to get out of that damn place. Maybe the railroad's pretty bad, too. Oh, sweet. Cool. I think I forgot about that. <laughs> what time is it? <clears throat> Wait, I can check on the map. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Or is it 1 p... No, it, it's 1 a.m. Because this, this is military time. Cool. Should we do this during the rad storm? Screw it. It's cool. Rad storm is cool. Oh, it's a red storm, actually. Same thing, it is a rest. It's a type of rest. Okay, well. Things are exploding. It's just a normal day in Boston. I don't know where I put my bike at. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like things are exploding. Let's put on my night vision. Oh, that makes it a little bit easier to see. What is that? That's oh, just a road sign, never mind. Alright, time to turn on the Fallout 3 vision, guys. <laughs> I can always, uh, you know, go back to Hangman's Alley and go to sleep. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna use night vision. I can't see. I can't see about it. I'm blind. <clears throat> My boy Ethan said, "Would you like to hear something?" that has a community laughing, yet cringing. What is that supposed to mean? I'm curious what it is. I'm very curious. 
Also, what the hell was that? Something just smacked me twice. I was gonna say, I uh, I changed the latency. I destroyed that dog right there. I changed the latency on the stream, so it should be ultra low latency. That's what I set it to. So I wonder how big the, the stream delay is now. Hopefully it's a little bit shorter. I don't know if that's gonna impact the quality at all. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, to answer the question, Ethan said, Team Fortress 2 accidentally added a boar pride flag? What? Boar as in you eat people? Like that kind of fetish? What the hell? There's a, there's a flag for that? What? Oh, for more info, look up TF2 Vor. <laughs> that's like the same thing as that, that's like the uh, that's like that one joke. Like, um, did you know in 2001, uh, the fast food chain Sonic caused the caused the uh, the, the U.S. dollar to, inf to to inflate by five percent? Look up Sonic inflation for more info. <laughs> right? It's like that joke. Or is this a real thing? Or is that just a joke? <laughs> Either way, that's funny. Okay, so it, so it actually did happen. He said, he said it's incredibly cursed. Uh, I I assume so. That is very cursed. I just realized I just totally just skipped right past and went straight to Hangman's Alley. The dead well the dead the dead drops at the library. I I don't know. I I just went here by habit. Maybe I should take a nap. Also. No, I'm just gonna go to sleep in the rest of the closet. See, look, it says sheltered. I'm sheltered now. Cool. Yeah, my character's quite tired. So, let's go take a nap. Anyway. Oh, my boy Dylan said... Or no, is this a different Dylan? That's a different Dylan. There's too many Dylans. He said he just got ball surgery. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> cool. He put, it, he put like a frowny face too. That's so sad. I need, might as well grab some arrows while I'm here. Okay, I need to stop getting off topic and reading these wacky ass comments on my YouTube. I need to play the game, you know? There's a lot of plastic. I feel like I should probably reduce the plastic to like just one to make an arrow. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Cool. Good amount, good amount. My goodness, I'm gonna turn into a ghoul though. Yes. Where is it at? Rad stag. That's what we want. This is the best. This is the best one in the entire game. 25 carry weight? How can you beat that? It's so good. Hmm. Anyway, so we're gonna head to the library now. My boy Jacob said he's he's back at it again watching this instead of doing my instead of doing his job. Of course, you know, as you should. <laughs> Wait, was it the guy? Was it the same guy who said he was like watching this at Mc, like at McDonald's? Right? Is it the same guy? That, that's pretty true. Watching the Fallout 4 stream from the Brandy Boy is much more important than flipping burgers. That's so true, bro. <laughs> you should probably do your job. <laughs> is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise My boy Jacob said he's trying I'm ungovernable. Caution. Ungovernable. What a rebel. This, this is literally me, bro. Where am I going? I can't see the marker. 
Oh. Okay, it's in Cambridge. I see it now. Cool. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this colored map is that the markers can be sometimes a little bit hard to see. Like, that's hard to see. Is that not hard to see? It's kind of kind of hard. A little bit tricky. Oh, it's just right, right across the road. Okay. Oh. Let's just zoom on over there real quick. For whom the bell tolls, time watches by. What a nice sunny day. Wow. It's kind of hard to believe that just yesterday the entire sky looked like Red Fanta. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. It's so clear. It looks so crisp. I, I, this preset makes everything look so... Look how crisp it is. Look how crisp this rusty car is. It's so crisp. I want to take a bite out of it. It looks so crispy. Oh, can I make it across this river with my bike? Let me see. <laughs> yep, we're good. That was ballsy. Oh, that's a... Okay, I'm going to kill these dudes. This is a raider camp. Might as well. They're in my way. Any one of my paths shall be destroyed. I need to crouch. Uh oh. Yeah, they didn't see me, did they? No. What the hell? They're on to me. Uh-oh. This dude's just running at me with a broken bottle in his hand. What a goober. <laughs> yeah, well, he broke my own plate. Which one do I have equipped? Do I have the jug plate equipped? I do, yeah. That, that's crazy. Might be a little bit OP, honestly. Uh-oh. Wait a second, hey! Hey, I'm healing! Let me just dance around him real quick. I missed. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that was a little hectic. Dude, he sh How <laughs> Damn, bro, my jug plate saved me right there. I just ate two 12-gauge blast right to the freaking chest. Thank goodness he had a double barrel. If he had a full auto shotgun, I would have died for sure, easily. That was like point blank with a shotgun. Even with an armor plate, dude. I don't know how you survived that. That's ridiculous. You gotta be one tough M effort to survive that. Sheesh. Good thing I have 215 HP in total. Or, I should have 225. What the hell? Okay, no. no. I'll have 225 with 9 HP. Okay, I see. So anyways, I started blasting. Yeah, those dudes just rushed me instantly. Uh -oh. I wasn't stealthy enough. It definitely seems like being stealthy in Fallout 4 is harder than Skyrim, I'd say. How's this not hitting him? Dogwater hitboxing, I bet. That's literally going straight through him. You can see these arrows hitting him right in the face. Look at this. That's literally hitting him. There's... Finally, damn. Dude shooting from below me somewhere. I mean, above me. Weird. Another one. These Hellraisers are goofy, man. They don't. <laughs> They're just running straight at me. I don't think it's a very smart idea. I mean, well, I'm using a bow, but like, you know, normally I'd be using a gun. I don't think you, you want to rush somebody with a gun. Or any ranged weapon for that matter. If you only have a freaking pair of knuckle dusters. He's gonna do that. He's done. Another guy? Yep. Right in the face. Bro had the freaking Glock with a big drum mag on it. Sheesh. Who the hell was Ned? Ow. That is not doing a lot of damage, actually. Huh. Interesting. He's gonna die. Okay, well, he's dead for sure. Dude, I'm just casually burning over here. I don't care. I did, like, five damage, whatever. Weird. Yep. That was easy. Oh, Scar H. <laughs> like, I just rolled over next to me. Like, hey, look, the Scar H just rolled right in front of me. Oh, I see, yeah. It was, like, these dudes plus these dudes. Pretty big raider camp, actually. 
Oh, she ambushed me. Good thing I have my armor plate. Oh! No way. No. He used the crash arrow. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Yeah, it d oh, it's not a crash, it's a freeze. He froze my game somehow. Okay. Yeah, he froze my game. That is goofy. I don't know what causes your game to just freeze when you get shot at. It's kind of goofy. Let me go and put that in the chat. And I will... Uh, screw. This is horrible. I have to open up a new desktop to open Task Manager. Just one of those kind of freezes. That's annoying. Okay, so... First crash in quite a while. We didn't crash at all last stream, so that's that's cool. But we did this time. Yeah, if, if, if obviously a freeze counts as a crash, so going to the crash counter because you have to you have to force exit the game no matter what. Freaking the crash arrow, dude. That's o oh, that's op. <laughs> I fear no man. But that thing, that crash arrow, it scares me. For real. Because I had the same thing happen to my other playthrough. My zombie playthrough, an alien shot at me with, a, with an alien gun, an alien blaster. And it crashed my game. And I was like, what? It's going to be... I can't really think of what exactly it'd be. I don't know if it's just specific to those weapons or maybe it's something to do... Oh, damn, I'm gonna go all the way back here. Whatever. Not a huge deal. I didn't lose that much progress. Just a few minutes, really. That is annoying, though. And that is exactly... Well, I mean, actually, I, I saved it a bed right there. You know, so either way, if I was playing normal survival mode with no quick saves, I still would have respawned right here. But that is exactly why I play survival with quick saves enabled. Because... You know, crashes can happen at any moment. You don't know. Sometimes you may you may play the game for five hours straight, no crashes. And then the next day you boot it up and you crash after 30 minutes. And you're like, what the hell? So, I always be having saving enabled because I don't want to be losing five hours of progress when I crash. But that would just be, that would just be horrible. I'd want to quit. I literally just might as well just restart an entire playthrough at that point. You know? Cool. I'm going to do all those little chores over there. You know what? I should just do like a challenge run. Can I beat Fallout 4 with a thousand mods without crashing? That would be a challenge for sure. I don't know if that'd be possible. Because like, that's the thing, right? If I fail the challenge, if my game crashes, then I have to restart the entire playthrough. You know? So like, how many tries would it take? How many tries would it take? To beat the entirety of Fallout 4 without crashing with a thousand, or not a thousand mods, but a lot of mods. 600, 700 mods at least, right? I don't know, it might take me a few attempts actually. Because there's bound to be at least a couple. At least a couple. Okay, we're good. Wait, did I? I didn't craft those. Yeah, okay. I'm craft those zeros. And after I do this, I'll quick save. With that. Arrow. That should be good. Alright. That's pretty good. I need to assign these to uh, hotkeys. There we go. I should have done that a while ago. There we go. You gotta have at least one crash per playthrough. Exactly. This is inevitable. Even if you're playing like mostly vanilla with like five mods, you're probably still gonna crash at some point. Right? It's just how it works. But all things considered, I mean, with all these mods and stuff, my game's doing pretty pretty solid. I can't complain too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, 
Oh. Some dramatic lighting. See what I mean, Leah? This lighting is very dramatic, but I can still see in the shadows, unlike the other preset. The other preset was just pitch black in the shadows. Also, those NPC gunshots are extremely loud. Kind of realistic, though. Uh, it's holotape? Uh, Augusta report. Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Hmm. Just use a... Maybe like a bunch of small monsters get to a thousand, I guess, but like... Oh, that is a... Because, of course, that would look better in the title, like, you know, if you put a thousand in the title, that looks better than 700, because a thousand's a big... big number, big, even number. But I'm not gonna try and find... I'm not... <laughs> of course, I'm not actually gonna try and find 300 more mods to install just to get the title alone. Like, that's just... That's too much. I have a, like, 700 is already big enough. Sheesh. Okay, so I'll park this right here and I'll save here, right? My bike was still running. That was weird. Also, I can take off this gas mask now. Oh, wait. I tried to uh, equip the, the armor plate. You know, why as well put on the juggernaut plate? This armor plate was almost broken anyway. Oh, I let go a little bit early. Anyway, they still haven't found me yet. <laughs> He's just running around with an arrow in him. Uh -oh. Nice hitbox. There goes your head. What does he do with the shotgun? How did he dodge that? Right there. There he is. Okay, I got it. Guys. There's someone with the. Oh, that guy. Oh, he dodged it. Motov! Oh! Oh! Oh no. It's actually. Not me fire resistance or something. Uh -oh. Do I shoot first? Whoa. I like he's just standing still. Kind of silly. Dude, these guys are just. What the hell? Where do you throw that thing? I missed all that. Okay. Time to run away and heal. Don't mind me. Just gotta wait for them to come to me. That's how you play the. Also, my character is still playing the gas mask sounds. <laughs> Just notice. Okay. Okay, now it's fixed. It's kind of goofy. Well, it's a little, just a few bugs here and there, you know. It's, it's all good. Oh, it smells bad. Much better. <laughs> nice. Put all these arrows in the wall. Sure, why not? Cool. Oh, I just realized I nailed the dude's head against the pole there. That's dope. Oh yeah, the sounds! I totally forgot. It's been super loud, hasn't it? It's not... kind of loud, it is. A little bit. Sorry about that. I just realized how, how loud it was. How powerful is a 2-gauge? A 2-gauge? I don't know, probably super powerful. Sheesh. Are you a Chevy kind of guy or a Ford guy? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a truck, so... I, uh, I can't, I can't attest to any, to either one, sadly. I don't know, saying Ford truck month sounds better than Chevy truck month, so. Oh. Are they like the same thing? What's the difference? 
I think I own. Looks <laughs> in over there. Some of your textures are way too bright. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, I can understand that. Like, it, this this preset definitely is very dramatic, though. Like, I can, uh... I can probably turn down some of, like, the contrast or something. Because it, it, it does... It, it is super bright and then super dark over here. So you're not wrong. Ew, look how bad that looks, though. So this is for different weather mods. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that does that does really yeah. Turn the gamma down maybe, right? Or wait, gamma day. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That was way too. That was at one thirty five. I don't know. Hey. Intensity of contrast. Oh, I see now. Okay, yeah, I can turn the contrast down a little bit. That makes a difference. I can already tell. Because that just looks a little bit unnatural how bright it is. This looks a little bit better. Like, one po just 1.0. 1 I can do, like, 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can definitely tell now, yeah. This looks better. This looks a little bit more natural, I'd say. Still a little bit dramatic, but I do like it. Yeah. Let's go with 1.1 then. We'll save that. I like that. That looks better. It's the same thing for night. Let's do 1.0 for nighttime. Or it was 1.1. Just, just that little tweak right there. A little bit better. Very nice. I like that. That's good. Oh. No, oh, I guess I killed that dude already. Over here. Oh, thanks for telling me where you're at. <laughs> Over here! Okay. Immediately locks onto her face and shoots her. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> I absolutely love the NPCs in Bethesda Games, man. They're so dumb. It's like, well, I mean, I, I kind of knew she was over there because she yelled before. But I just thought that was funny. Over here! <laughs> Dies. <laughs> Thanks. Can you imagine just playing like a multiplayer shooter game, right? Like playing like a battle royale with like proximity chat. It was like, over here, shoot me, please. You know, like, okay. That's basically what happened. Oh, hello. There's so many raiders, dude. Go away. I hit him once. Yeah, hey, he's dead now. Let's go. Dude, I just echo located that guy. I don't know if y'all heard him, but I did. I'm a sound whore for real. Give me that plate. I could just slightly hear his footsteps, and I just immediately like locked onto him. I'm using an aim button for that four for real. I don't know why I put my flashlight on. I'm used to it. I'm too used to it. Crutch. This does look good though. Like, damn, I like this look. But again, like 1.3 is a little bit too much. It, it looks a little bit. It looks like overexposed, you know. I think one is good. 1.1. I think I'll keep it at 1.1 for now. I like that. It looks kind of dry, you know? Almost like I'm in a desert, but obviously I'm not. In the pine forest. Looks good. Although the shadows are definitely st still maybe a tiny bit too dark, I'd say. Hmm. I wonder if I can adjust that as well. Look, if okay, if I look at the shadows, right? What if I put if I put it on one? Wait, where's the contrast? Oh, there's a brightness, yeah. Let me just do one. I think one point one. Point five. Ew! Ooh, that looks awful. Obviously, point five contrast does not look good. Point like eight. That looks yeah, that doesn't look good. 
just keep on rolling with that. There's a lot of settings here. Oh, there's the exposure. 1.0. I'm fine with this right now. We'll just go with that. Okay. Cool. Get on. Am I going? Oh, yeah, it's the hospital. I'm going to the hospital. This dude said try 1.08. <laughs> That's not going to make a difference. A 0 0.02 difference? Yeah, right. Look at this. Look. There's a Raider Pyro just chilling on that couch right there. <laughs> How did he not see me? <laughs> Bro was just chilling on the couch, bro. He was straight chilling. I just nailed his head against the wall. Poor guy. I'd almost feel bad for him. Almost, but he's a Raider Pyro, so... Fuck those guys. He's a bug. He too was just straight chilling, dude. He's taking like a... Like a like a smoke break or something. Damn, that blue flight has tanked that arrow. Get away from me. Oh god. Oh no. I have to use slow motion to get these little things. Yeah. I don't know why they take two hits. They're kind of tanky for real. Oh no, I'm squirting now. I'm squirting blood. Damn. Stop moving! Did you seriously just break my juggernaut plate with this stupid spit? Dude, how many bugs are there? Damn. These are just annoying to deal with. Look at that. You know what I realized? I, I, for, I totally forgot to turn in the, the green paint and the, the mutated fern. <laughs> I totally forgot to turn that stuff in to get free caps. There's an arrow over here. <laughs> let's, let's draw the crossbow. Oh, it's a mantis. I thought it was a raider up there. Yeah, for, this footstep mod isn't perfect, obviously. Because sometimes animals will have human footstep noises. As if they're wearing, like, heavy gear. So, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't know, I wish there was definitely a better footstep mod, but I can't really find any others. Would there just be a mod to just simply increase their audio? Jeez. Am I going? Yeah. Just to be in here. Yeah, this entire place is just crawling with the raiders. I know that. Hello. Blech. I wonder if they heard that. This is caution, so they probably... What the hell? You turn up, you're dead. Nice. Right in the face. Such a beautiful thing. Uh-oh. Oh no, he saw my flashlight. Oh yeah, I don't have an armor plate on right now. I'm gonna get chewed up. Let me go ahead and do that real quick before anything else. Oh, invisible plate, let's go. Nice. That'd be beautiful. I kind of saw him through the fire there. Oh. He said, <laughs> Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. This can't be good for the economy. It's kind of dark. Oh, was that the pyro? No way. Huh. I guess so. Oh, hello. I shoot him right in the face. Yeah, look at that. Right in the face. Right through the noggin, bro. <laughs> Dude, it literally looks like... You know those like, those little, like, hats you can get? Hold on, let me lay him down. Those little hats you can get where, like, you have, like, an arrow going through your head. But it's, like, a headband. It literally looks like that almost. 
<laughs> it's like the perfect angle. It's like right. Oh, okay, not quite. It's not perfectly like perpendicular or whatever. That's funny though. Damn. Killed all those dudes. I don't know. I think the crossbow might be OP. I'm just one shotting everybody. Oh! Can't one shot a turret though. Not quite. Bins of bodies. Where does this go? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Probably. Let's see. Mantis wearing boots, maybe? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Just explodes. This place is kind of spooky. These raiders are absolutely brutal. I thought that was a fun. Huh. It's like a maze, dude. Okay, I'm supposed to go over here. Yeah, okay, okay. Maybe I'll go and quick save right here. Oh, the night vision? Yeah, that was oh, see? I didn't see that guy earlier. Got him. <laughs> oh, they saw that though. Dude, all these headshots are just so satisfying. Oh, I missed the dog. High ground, Anakin. He's right there. Can I, I don't think I can shoot through that. Oh! Did you see me? How'd that miss? There's no way. It still says conscious. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Can I go like through here or something? Nah. Peek it. Peek it. Do it. Do it. Die! Huh? <laughs> Over okay, I thought, thought she was gonna do a tight peek. She just ran out there. There you are, you little bitch. There's something like in the way. There's a stupid little stick right here. It's in the way, okay. Not my fault. You know what? Oh. How'd you get down there? Look at that! Wait, what? What kind of hitboxing is this? This is one of the biggest challenges with this. That would have been the headshot. Literally, that's going right towards her face. Right towards her stupid ass face. Also, this camera is way too way too fast. Look, 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 just look at that trajectory. Okay, maybe. Yeah, that probably would have gone right in her face or something. Nice hitboxing, by the way. Fallout 4 is a perfectly functioning game with no bugs or bad hitboxes whatsoever. <laughs> okay, it worked that time, though. Cool. Oh, no. It's the battle of the archers. Who will win? Me. Is there a turret? Hmm.
I think it's all of them. Nobody's making noise, so we're good. Cool. That was a death call down here, I remember that. Gonna be here any <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Where we were. What's this guy doing? No. Oh! Ow. Do I know my armor plate on? I don't think I do. I do not. I've only got a couple of, th of those left. I might want to save them later. No, I still hear someone moving around, actually. That's okay. I mean balanced. It's perfectly balanced, guys. Oh! He was sneaking. He tried to do stealth, stealth attack on me! How dare you. Nope, there's still one more dude. Oh, the death claw is angry. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, okay, he tanked that though. Right in the face. What? I tried to switch, but whatever. Oh, it says I don't. Yeah, I do have that arrow. What are you talking about? Stop gaslighting me. Damn, I'm surprised that explosion, the explosion didn't hit me. Oh, yeah, I can just pick those arrows back up too. Hilarious. Balance, by the way. Again, I, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if there's a special patch for that or something. Or So if there is, someone please do let me know. Because obviously that's not very balanced so that I can just reuse explosive arrows. <laughs> Why is there just a random head in this pile of rubble? Just taking a nap. Bro, look, bro looks like he's been boofing too hard. He, his eyes are all bloodshot. He's been boofing way too hard, man. Oh, is that his body? Anyway. <laughs> he just has a really, really long neck, okay? For the, uh, for the, for the YouTube reviewer watching this video, he just has a really long neck, okay? He's, they call him Long Neck Larry, alright? He's not decapitated. He's got a really long, weird shaped neck. Isn't there like a little thing for- oh yeah. There's the power over here. Nice. I'll take that off, thank you. Oh yeah, free fusion core. Cool. Ooh, macro P. Wow. Something tells me I should get up here. I wonder why. What too much Zaza does to a man, for real. Damn, Skyrim has changed a lot. <laughs> yeah. The new Skyrim DLC is looking kind of cool, though, for real. This is the Skyrim Anniversary Deluxe Premium Edition, actually. Comes with the Fallout 4 DLC included. So, like, as soon as you're done playing Skyrim, you can just load up Fallout 4. And then you'll play as the Dragonborn in Boston. It's kind of dope. Bug. Nice hitboxing. Stupid bug. Get my arrow back. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the broad points. How about this? Hello, hyena. Die. Now we got him. Give me that lighter. Now where are we going? I'm just following... Dude, I'm not paying attention to... Okay, report back to Dr. Carrington. Cool. Wow. Run back to the railroad. 
Wow. What was that? Okay. Oh yeah, there's the green tech building. Cool. This is what happens. You see the advertisement, like, oh, I gotta have it. <laughs> Literally, that's how it works. You see a Nuka Cola ad? Okay, I now now I'm feeling feeling like I want a Nuka Cola. You know? Are these dudes trying to shoot at me or something? I don't give a damn. I'm out of here. I'm stuck. Dude, this happened last time. This literally happened last time. I got stuck in this same exact spot. I don't know what's going on here. Because I can run around just fine, but my bike gets stuck for some reason, which is really odd. Huh. Damn, it is stupid clear outside. Not a single cloud in the sky. It's almost uncanny how clear it is. Is that even possible? For the sky to be this clear? No clouds. Nothing. It's just blue. Blue, that's it. Weird. Just a little floater. Time for you to float in the water. Dude, what the heck? Looks like he just resurrected. That was his buddy right there next to him. Another one right down there. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, he moved. Oh! Okay, he saw that one. Got him. Oh, there it is. Oh, here's the cabin house over there to the right. We'll worry about that later. I don't know if I'm gonna do that quest. It's a lot of work just to get a charisma bubble in. or Fallout 4 with mods? Hmm, interesting question. Well, I mean, I mean, just if you just look at my playtime, I have more playtime on Fallout 4 with mods, so I guess that answers your question. You know, because it, it is more up-to-date with modern game mechanics. A, a little bit. Fallout, <laughs> Fallout was still b far behind first-person shooters. Like, this game was made in 2015. It feels like it was made in, like, 2012. You know? Even earlier. Perhaps. But New Vegas and Fallout 3 especially, man, that shit, that shit feels ancient. It still has the charm to it, though. Like, when I, whenever I was playing through New Vegas, like, and I put some mods on top of it to make it, make it flow a little bit better, it, it, had a, it had an interesting charm to it. It was clunky, but it still felt good, though. I, I did like it. Gunplay was still enjoyable, though. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. It just feels very... I have nothing further for Antique. you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Like it would be nice to play through New Vegas on like a newer engine with you know some top tier animations and movement. It'd be awesome. Obviously, like if you're just talking about just the story and the characters and the quests and all that, New Vegas is obviously the best choice, no doubt. That's why I, I'm definitely excited for the, uh, well, it's going to be a while, but that Fallout New Vegas remake. I'm excited to play that, man. It's going to take a while for it to come out. Probably another two or three years, maybe even longer. Who knows? We'll just see. We'll see how long that takes. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Could end up being five years. We'll see what happens, because those guys ain't getting paid for that. I just wish Bethesda or... It's just so obvious. The community wants so badly to have a New Vegas remake. And Bethesda just like, no, we're not going to do that. No, no, nah. 
because they're just salty that New Vegas is better than Fallout 3. So they're like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> they would make so much money. Like, literally, all you have to do is just... Just... Just, re just do the New Vegas remake, man. People would love that shit. You know? Anyway. You're not track. I still can't believe Dez has Well, I, I mean... It would be funny if they ended up did making it an official remake. And then the mod team... That, you know, like, the, the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod team... Like, finished theirs, like... Like, around the same time. Like, uh... Well, this is awkward. <laughs> One of us should go home and change. <laughs> Be that as it may. Okay. Put simply. Well, I'm here now. I'm just gonna fix some random dialogue. I can see. This dialogue is just so uninsightful. The That's the thing. It literally does not matter what I pick. I can pick literally any of these choices, and it has zero effect on the conversation. Because at the end of the day. The conversation's gonna end, he's gonna read the next quest, and I do the quest. There's n none of these dialogue options are gonna change how, like, how this unfolds, which is, it's just disappointing, you know? It's like, how do you just downgrade like that? Well, obviously because, I mean, even compared to Fallout 3, even compared to Fallout 3, it's worse. Obsidian is just better at their writing, and their story building, their world building and story and characters and faction and all that shit. Anyway, thanks. Sure, I'll just click a random ass. Ran oh, sorry, I was trying to click too hard. <laughs> I don't think you like that. I th Doc, I think you need. I think you need medical attention. There's an arrow in your shoulder blade. <laughs> he's just like hide the pain. <laughs> he's giving me. The, he's giving me the stank eye. Hide the pain. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> POV. No, look at this. It's like POV, you're talking to a character. Oh, hold on. POV, you're talking to a character in Fallout 3 or, or Oblivion. Just zooming right on their face like that. Anyway. Oh, yeah, so what was the next mission? I don't know. Wait, I don't even know what he said. I'm very busy. Unless you need my med- No. I have no clue what he said. No, go talk to someone else. Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me. Hey, you. You the new heavy? Wanderer, right? Yeah. In the flesh. Likewise. Yes. Anyone crazy enough to join us is okay in my book. So the switchboard was so crawling with bad guys. Lines and shit, too. Maybe I should. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? That's hardcore. How'd you take down the <laughs> That's <old> hardcore. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. <laughs> this sounds so edgy. Oh no. Another one? Well, welcome to the party. Yeah, I'm a stealth what archer, babe. Tommy whispers. <laughs> we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Anytime. <laughs> they call me Glory. The angel of death. That's so that's so edgy. The, the angel I'm the angel of death. Yeah. Uh that's a mouthful. <laughs> angel of death, for short. She says so She says so edgy. So some advice? This is prime time. dialogue right He's here. Shit I'm the angel He's of death. The good stuff. She sounds like she listens to Disturbed and Five Finger Death Punch too much. Firepower, armor. Ain't gonna lie, they got some bangers though. Care? The importance of hey, what's my next mission? I want to go do more stealth attacks on people. Hmm. Maybe I should return to Virgil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Cause like, I need to go talk to him to continue the main story, right? So yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hey, what are this guy? Hooray! Hooray! I hate this guy. Hooray! This is the type of, he just seems like a soy boy. But yeah, that was great. Not so fast, man. Okay. Hey. Anything out there. This is a female character. Because if you have, can't say that. They got you. 
No, I never eat anything. Yeah, I'm actually on a fast right now. Or wait. Yeah, I've eaten food. No, I should just say this to, just to mess with them. You see, that's smart. That's smart, man. S M A R T. But you gotta be careful. The Institute has these tiny what? microscopic robots in the food, what? man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. You just don't get it, Carrington. This boy right. talks like Juice Head, for real. <laughs> Bro, that's Juice Head right there. Juice Head's in Fallout 4, guys. Why is this lunatic even here? <laughs> Tinker Tom, Who's the NPC you hate most in the game? Probably that guy, Tinker Not Tom. He's kind of goofy. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one there, has there's the motor. It's all kind of goofy. Girls, there's a battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Anyway, uh, what, what was he saying? I was busy. Hit me, Tom. Slap me right in the face. Yeah, uh. now you talking. Wait, what is he doing? I have no clue. I should probably put on subtitles. Oh, wait, what is he... Is he injecting me with drugs? Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you... You get it, man. I make things Why is my character <laughs> coughing and bleeding? And do, what did you do to me? And come back, and I will set you up. I feel awful. That feeling is the price of freedom, man. Feel free. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. What the fuck did so you do to me? I have I was not paying attention to the dialogue whatsoever. <laughs> Why am I at one HP? What did you do to me? <laughs> what did he do? I have no clue. Is it the whole thing? Like, does he just like bring you down to 1 HP and that's it? Like, do you get any bonuses from that or something? Like, what's the point? What's the point of doing that? Uh... Okay, now I have to heal myself with the doctor's bag. Thanks. Bro nearly killed me. <laughs> what the hell? I hate that guy even more. Why are there plastic toys over here? Huh. Interesting. So I guess to advance the quest now, I should probably, uh... I should probably go talk to Virgil on the glowing sea. Am I almost there? I'm getting really close to 75 engineering. Yep, 69, baby! Woo! Ooh, adamantium skeleton. You know, I really haven't been having my limbs getting broken at all, though. I've had my head get shot. I've been getting shot in the face a little bit, though, but... I don't think I really need this too, too bad, though. What else should I get, then? Kim resistant is pretty good. Yeah, but the Kim's less than... Tw or I could do... Charisma. Mr. Sandman. Bring me in a dream. Bum, 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 bum. There's too many options here. I can't, I can't choose. Are there any perks I want that I can't get? Shadow shape. I definitely want to get my sneak up. Hmm. <clears throat> I see. I see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to fix this. I need to fix that so I can actually use these perks. Yeah, same thing with this perk. Some of these perks are still have level requirements, which isn't correct. That's not balanced. Huh. Nerd Rage. This one is such a... I nerfed this one a little bit too hard, probably. <laughs> it barely gives you any bonuses. Particle is useful, though, just for the... Alcohol bonus. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that works with bows at all. Damn, I need five intelligence? That's ridiculous. I need to change that. I don't even have I, mean, I don't even need Scrounger, actually. No point. No point in getting Sniper, either. A lot of these perks I don't even need, right? Because, like... I'm just using just a bow. You know? So it is interesting. Huh. Yeah, let me go ahead and just do... 
I'll level up charisma, right? And then I'll take the party go perk. Why not? It's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alcohol is good. It is pretty useful, though, for real. Why is there an RPK in here? Here, I'm going to sell it. Just immediately... Hey, here, here's this gun I picked up. Oh, wait. Is it, I already sold stuff to him earlier. Uh, okay, I'm just going to put this back now. I'll come back later and I'll sell it. There we go. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll come back later. Anyway, so now the next course of action. Go to the Glowing Sea. Go talk to Virgil. Or I could do something else. I think I'll... Okay. Mm, nah, I'll just go to the Glowing Sea. I'll just run back over there. Real quick. Might as well. Because now... Then he's going to give me the plans for the teleporter, right? And then I can talk to the railroad and be like, Hey, I got the plans for the teleporter. Can we build this? I'm like, yeah. Because I've never... I've never actually... Um, gone with the railroad ever. So... <laughs> not a single time. Because the railroad's lame as hell. Like, I've gotten to the point where I did that, where I did the hospital mission with them, right? Like the one I just did. I've done that before. Oh, why is, is this bugged? Why is the sky so gray? This has got to be bugged. This is not a natural sky at all. Let me just... Let me just load a random weather. That is not right. That is not correct. That's a bug. It's got to be. Yeah, let's just do weather. Wait, is that an accurate? Yeah. Uh, load random weather. Let's see what we get. Okay, similar, but there's actually a texture in the sky, so this is better. Similar vibes, though, so th this is what it should be. So that's fine. Alright. Is this on computer? <laughs> no, I'm playing on my PS2. This dude said alcoholism, alcoholism is good for you. Yes. So true. A motor cycle. Let's go. I got plenty of arrows. Okay. I'll be I'll be fine. I'll be fine in the glowing sea. Well actually, I mean I'm gonna stop by Hangman's Hangman's Alley's on the way, so I might as well stop by there. Grab some arrows. Well, that bugged out texture was still there. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that's very smooth 30 FPS going through Boston. Woo! <laughs> that's so stuttery going through that area. Still works. Still works though. My game doesn't crash. That's all that matters. Silly ass squirrel on my head looks so goofy. Oh! That was close. So we had a freaking rocket launcher trap. Dude, that literally almost killed me. Sheesh. I was inches away from my face. That's how you ride a motorbike, my boys. Alright, arrows. I need to grab some, a couple of explosive ones just in case. Alright, that's that should be plenty of arrows. So yeah, oh, I got plenty of explosive arrows for sure. I can take out quite a few death claws with this. And look like Far Cry. I've had a lot of people say like like the bow just reminds them of Far Cry. I mean, yeah. Which Far Cry had the? Did all the Far Cries have bows? I think all. Or I don't know. I don't like three and four did right. Three, four, and five. I barely even played five, bro. Let me go back and play it. Give me a second. <laughs> Oh, cha-ching, 
Dude, Dante Megadeth, let's go. The coolest name ever right there. Thank you so much, Dante Megadeth, for the 5,000 CLP. I think it's like Chilean, Chilean pesos, right? Anyway, very cool. Thank you very much. He said, I think one of the reasons Bethesda is taking so long to make a new Fallout or the Elder Scrolls is because of the mature, dark themes that, the both, that both games have. It's a minefield of controversy, if you know the lore. That is true. Yeah, there's some pretty messed up stuff in both games, that's for sure. I'm not sure if that's what's holding them back, though. Like, I think it's just because Bethesda takes too damn long to make their games. <laughs> um, I mean, I can definitely see, like, you know, with Fallout, you know, just look at the gameplay. You shoot someone in the face and their head just explodes into tiny little pieces, right? <laughs> Like, Skyrim's got some... Even then, like, when I was a kid playing Skyrim. I didn't... Felt kid-friendly enough. Alright. I don't know, if you ask me, I think it's just because Bethesda's kind of... Kind of lazy. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. We're just going to keep selling Skyrim 20, 20 million times until... Um, just to hold us over. And like, yeah, we can work on Starfield just whenever we feel like it, basically. That, that's kind of vibes I get. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like, damn, bro. Fallout 5 ain't coming out until like 2030, literally. That's ridiculous. I mean, Elder Scrolls probably isn't coming out until 2025, right? Or maybe even later. Elder Scrolls 6 isn't coming out until like 26, maybe? Sheesh. That is ridiculous. Like, okay, the gap from Oblivion to Skyrim was about five years, I think. And Skyrim was a pretty good game, you know? Sure, they could have they could have worked on it for longer and they could have put more stuff in the game, but still, you can you can still play the vanilla game like for a hundred hours easy. And it took them five years to make Skyrim, right? They probably weren't even working on it for five years because like they also were working on Fallout. Because they went they made the the main Bethesda game studios they made Oblivion in like 2006, right? And then Fallout 3 came out in 2008. Is that correct? And then Skyrim came out in 2011. So they made Skyrim in just a few years. And if you take that same time frame, 2011, five years later, Elder Scrolls 6 should have been out in 2016. It should have been out in 2016. How long has it been? 12 years, still no, still no Elder Scrolls game. Holy crap. Or really, you know, like, well, Fallout came out in 2015. Fallout 4 did. But even if you go by that time frame, right? Even if you gave them, you know, okay, 2011 to 2015, that's four years in between Skyrim and Fallout 4, right? And if you give them another five years, Elder Scrolls 6... Should have been out in 2020 or 2021. Elder Scrolls 6 should have been out a long time ago. It should have been out a couple years ago. Well, that's okay. That's assuming they didn't have Starfield. Because honestly, I'm not, I don't give a damn about Starfield. But even if you think about it that way, Starfield should have been out in 2020. Somewhere around there. So they're, they're just slow, man. They're slow. And they didn't, even, they didn't even work on Fallout 76. They put that for the Austin studio. They put that on a different studio. So they, did, they didn't do jack shit for Fallout 76. I don't think they did. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm making very heavy assumptions here. They haven't done anything in five years. What are you talking about? Bethesda Game Studios, the main studio, has not made a game since Fallout 4. Like, yeah, there's been... Elder Scrolls Online, there's been um, Fallout 76, there's been the Elder Scrolls Blades, right? <laughs> but the main Bethesda Game Studios did not make any of those. That was all, those like other, those are different studios. So the main studio has not been doing anything. I mean, I shouldn't be, like, they've been working on Starfield this whole time, apparently. Like, damn, motherfucker's taking a long time. Starfield better be good. I don't think it's going to be good, honestly. We'll see. I think it's going to be rather mid. It seems like it's just going to be another... It's, Starfield is looking like it's just going to be a settlement simulator in space. 
It's going to be Fallout 4 in space, basically, but with even more settlement building, I bet. So that's going to be fun. We'll see what happens. We shall see. I hope I, I've, I hope I'm wrong, dude. I don't want to be wrong so bad. Because I just want to play some I want to play some new Bethesda games, because at the end of the day, their games are kind of fun. I cannot lie. Their games do be kind of fun. Except for Fallout 76. That one's just dog water. Damn, hurry up. <laughs> this dude said they need to give Todd the god free reign. We would enter a golden age. <laughs> that dude's funny. Oh. Oh no. My fucking third person's bugging out on me. This is ir irritating. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run away real quick. That dude's a little bit too close for comfort. Let's just shoot him in the face. Yeah. Damn, those two headshots in a row. That's nice. Hello. Ow. Ow. I'm getting shot a lot. Doesn't matter. I have armor plate. The soup mutant. <laughs> nice. How many arrows did that guy eat? Sheesh. I mean, they're super mutants, so look at like it's right at the top of his skull. That looks so funny. Where's the other one at? Oh, that was the suicider. Welcome to the modern gaming industry, where gaming companies don't make games. So true, bro. Yeah, why make a new game when you can just re-release it? Literally. That's what Bethesda's been, like, learning. Like, everyone just keeps on rebuying Skyrim, so, like, they don't have a, f they don't have a need to make a new game. Because, like, they're still making, you know, crap tons of money off Skyrim. You know? And, like, they're doing a Fallout update this year, so they're probably going to... I don't know if they're going to try and do, like, a Fallout 4 Special Edition. I wouldn't be surprised if they try and do a Fallout 4 Special Edition, though. That'd be hilarious. Because this this came out a few months ago. This came out, like, last, like, October or November. I don't think it was November. No, it was October. Like, last October, they said they're going to do a Fallout 4 update in 2023 with new Creation Club content. So it's like... Are you going to do a Fallout 4 special edition or something? Like, what are y'all doing, huh? We'll see what happens. We shall see, my boy. Cha-ching. My boy, Wiggs. Thank you, Wiggs. You give me one pound. Let's go. Awesome. Thank you very much, Wiggs. He didn't say anything, though. Say something. If you're going to super chat, you might as well leave a comment. All right? That's the whole point. Well, you don't have to, of course. You don't have to. Makes things interesting, though. All right, we're good there. Plenty of resources. Back to the glowing sea it is. Yeah, <laughs> Creation Club content. Yeah, I'm not too excited for the new Creation Club content at all. All of it has been really bad. Look, wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I installed a mod which gets rid of the Creation Club part, like, tab from the main menu, so I can't go there and show you guys. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I installed a mod to just get it, get it out of my game, so I don't even have to see it. That's so funny. I love that. That's the best mod for Fallout 4. If someone ever asks for my favorite mod for Fallout 4, I'm just going to say the one that removes Creation Club from the game. <laughs> it's so bad. And that's the thing, like... Yeah, I don't understand it either, but... Who's that? That was a gecko. Dude, this looks... Kind of good. Very dark, but I like it. Like, the thing about the Creation Club, I have no problem if you're gonna sell mods. Just make them good. Like, paid mods is not a bad idea, it's just... 
You know, because I, I think it's nice to be able to support mod authors, you know, if they work hard on something. Like, yeah, they do deserve to be paid for their, for their hard work. But if their mods are just lame and I don't even want to use them in my game, then I'm just not going to be like, okay, it's not even worth it. If you're going to have paid mods, make them really good. Because there's plenty of mods on the Nexus that I would pay for. But they're free. All the mods in the creation clip, though, pretty much 99% of them are just bad. And I wouldn't even... They're so bad, I wouldn't even install them for free. Besides the backpack. This backpack that I'm wearing is actually good. I would pay for this one. Actually, probably not. Probably not even pay for it, because there's plenty of other backpack mods which are free. But this is the... The backpack mod is one of the only mods on the creation club that's even worth installing. Free or paid. Just funny. Dude, this looks... This preset is very dramatic. Okay, yeah, the glowing suits are here. Should we just, should we just zoom past it, or should we run back to the glowing sea? You guys want to see me suffer again? I mean, that that'll be more fun than just zooming past everybody on the motorcycle. You know. Okay, now that we're out of the forest, we can actually see. It. That's one of the reasons why my game is so dark because all the trees cast shadows everywhere. It's a beautiful orange sky today. Oh. I'm going quick save here. But I'm, I, I always like running through the glowing sea. It's fun. My gas mask overlays not in sync. Oh well, that's fine. Oh yeah, this dude said the the stealth armor versus like the there's like a Chinese stealth armor on both on the Nexus and on Creation Club, and the one on the Nexus is just better in every aspect, which is funny. Same thing with the XO2. There's an XO2 power armor on the Nexus and on Creation Club, and the one that's on the Nexus is free, and it's just better. It's just better, like bruh. It's so funny. But that's another thing. Like a lot of the, there's quite a few Creation Club mods that you can just find for free. And they're better. Not only are they free, but they're better. Like, huh? There's just zero reason to use the Creation Club for Fallout 4. Skyrim, I mean, there's a few Creation Club mods for Skyrim, which look they look alright. You know? I haven't used any of them yet. I just wanted to try them out. But yeah, Fallout 4's Creation Club is just... It's just sad. It's abysmal. It's the worst example of paid mods. Let's go. My boy Wiggs again. This time with the two pounds. Thank you very much, my boy Wiggs. He said, I'm making a new Metro style playthrough. What mods? Like, what mods do you want to use? Is that what you're, like, you're asking me what mod recommendations I got? Well... If you have not seen my, one of my earliest videos, one of my earliest videos is called How to Transform Fallout 4 into a Metro-inspired nuclear winter. Go watch that one. That'll help you out. Obviously, this gas mask mod is one of the big ones. The gas mask of the wasteland. It's literally di dis directly inspired from Metro. The nuclear winter mod, obviously. That's very similar to how Metro works. Um, the Metro... This little flashlight. Just go watch that video. It literally has all those mods included. So. You'll find it. It's an older video. It was like the fourth video I ever posted. I'm missing all my shots. This can't be good for the economy. Okay, that was a headshot. He's dead. Nice. Look at these dudes just chilling inside the Forbidden Fanta over here. Oh, I missed. He's angry with me. Damn, he dodged that. He's dead now. Is that a ghoul? That's oh, a pale head, okay. Oh, he can't bleed to death because he heals. He heals too fast. <laughs> That's funny. Probably put on some rat eggs. I'm about to jump into a pool of a ra radiated waste. Cool. Oh, dude, a free scar. Who puts a scar rage in a toolbox? How does it even fit? That doesn't even fit in there. Look. Look at this. It doesn't even fit. There's no way. There's no way this fits inside the toolbox. That's not even physically possible. That's very unimmersive. Look at that. Even if you... Even if you took the stock off. Even if you collapse the stock. It's just not going to fit. This is impossible. This is unimmersive. But that's the fixture game. You cannot fit a scar rage inside of a tool case. It's not possible. Unplayable. Unplayable, dude. 
I can't believe this. That's not even Bethesda's fault, it's a mod. So. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's Bethesda's fault. <laughs> Dude, you're using a mod, what are you talking about? What a beautiful day in Detroit. I missed. I will kill all these stupid bugs. That's a UFO. Cool. Whoa, he just teleported on me. Trying to pick up my arrow. I accidentally drank the Kool Aid. Oh, that was, that was the mantis's head. Stuck into the ground. That's what the hell is that? What is that thing? Is that an angler? It is. Oh no. He did not take as much damage as I was hoping. I missed that shot as well. Oh god. Don't worry, I can use terrain to my- Oh no! He's smart! What just hit me? Are those aliens hitting me now? I missed both my criticals! This is- uh, For some reason my slowdown effect is not working. So I might have to, uh, quick save and reload. Dude, this is- Oh, okay, that's a centaur behind me, that's cool. This dude's tanking those shots though, look at this. Shooting him right in all the tongues he has. Actually, close to this place is. Good lord. Let me out. <laughs> Dude, the glowing seat gets so crazy. Let's go. Let's go. We've got 420. Let's go. 420 from Amanda. Dope. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much for the 420. Just got my tax returns. Only good Fallout 4 mod channel, nice. Using your tax returns to donate to your favorite streamer, that's cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's a responsible use of your tax returns. I appreciate that. Only good Fallout 4 modding channel. Uh, there's some other good ones. There are some other good ones. I just missed that shot. Look at this poor guy. Try to sleep in me. I should put him out of his misery. I missed that shot too. Wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, anyway. That is very embarrassing. Hey! Oh, it's a bee! Just splattered that bee into little pieces. These UFOs are being pretty... pretty generous. I'm surprised they're not attacking me. Oh lord, my frame rate. Is my frame rate just... That was weird. Now it's fine. I suppose I need to quick save and reload because my... Vaps is bugged. I don't know why it does that. No, it's still not working. Why does it do that? Okay, now it's working. What? Weird. If somebody knows why that happens, please do let me know. Ooh, that was some big damage. Ah, uh oh. He's gonna probably bleed out. Let's see. Oh! Ow! He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Got him. Dude, I almost died from that. Damn. That was bad. No animation? Okay. I've been level up so I can grab that still suit mark too. What is this guy? Oh, it's a child of Adam. I think my armor played on this whole time. Whoopsie. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm very low HP. Stop. Oh no. Hide behind the trees, they can't get me. It's like UFO shooting at me now. I want to whip out the explosive arrows. Uh-oh. 
that's not gonna do that's not that's not doing hardly any damage i'm just gonna have to run away i'm gonna waste all my arrows in the single ufo this is an absolute hellhole oh my goodness Is that a is that an enemy or is it just a rock? Well, that's definitely a gulper. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, no, he's, he's rushing. Oh, he was a lot faster than I thought. He killed me. He bashed me to death. Also, my vaps keeps on bugging on me. I was trying to use the slowdown and it wasn't working. So that's unfortunate. There's the first death of this stream so far. Oh yeah, quick save right here too. Okay, that's not too bad then. That's not too bad. I just put death in all caps, lol. Oh good. Literally hell, yeah indeed. I need to get out of here. Sheesh. Uh oh, there's the UFO. Uh -oh. Please don't, please don't see me. <laughs> so I could totally just zoom through my motorbike, but this is, just makes things so much more exciting. That was a, that was a hit and a miss. Swing and a miss. And yeah, my vast is not working. It's like something, it's like something to do with the glowing sea. Oh god, oh, this can't be good for the economy. Ow. Ow. Owie. Oh, uh, uh, please, <laughs> please, please, please. Being manhandled by this rat's poor dude. No, <laughs> stop, I can't move. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I'm taking these shots like a champ. No, no, no. <laughs> That was absolutely brutal. I was getting violated by that rat scorpion. Absolutely violated. Disrespect. Should have disrespected. He was just playing with me. That rat scorpion likes playing with his food, I guess. Can my fucking vaps work, please? It's kind of getting me killed, you know? I want to be able to use that. I need to type death in the chat. Death. It's not working. It's, broken. it's not. It's not to do with the weather, is it? There's a couple of crash buttons. Okay, now he's distracted, so we're good. Yeah, it's just. It's just not working. It's weird. I just got to do everything in real time now. Whatever. Still not working, by the way. Do I switch weapons? Dude, why am I moving so fast? I'm strafing so fast with the crossbow. I move slower with the bow. What? I realize that. It makes a huge difference. I don't want to kill that one amingo though. Where is he? I just saw him over here. What an absolute hellscape this place is. It's gonna be super fun whenever I do a glowing sea only playthrough. <laughs> 
<laughs> I need to do that. I need to try that out. Especially with Nakex, right? And all these aliens and all these crazy tough animals. Or beast. Mutated beast, I should say. But that is going to be absolute AIDS. Glowing sea only. I'll save that for later. I'm going to finish your stills. Your stills are completely good. Literally the entire video would just be this. Just living in hell the whole time. Yeah. Oh, hello. Goodbye. These things are like falling dude, I swear. Look. They're just terrorizing the local population. This is good practice, you know. Good practice for that. Oh, see, it's working now, look. What? Oh god. This can't be good. Did I kill him? Holy sh Oh. Wow, that's balanced. One shot that death claw. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think I shot him right in the face. Well, okay, I mean I shot him right in the face with an explosive arrow, so that did like a four times multiplier, I think, or five times multiplier. Somewhere around there. It's a big multiplier. So that kind of makes sense. You get shot in the face with an explosive. With an explosive. Still, like, damn, that was lucky. That was super lucky. <laughs> Just one shot of death club with a bow. <laughs> Who would win? A giant mutated lizard? Or some stealth archer with a, with a bow and arrow? Back here again. I think I see. I only have to talk to Virgil. I said call him Virgil. <laughs> Virgil. I only have to talk to the Virgin twice, and then I can just be done with it for the rest of the game, I believe. This looks so dope. Look, look, look. Is that Sentinels? Yeah, that's the Sentinels side over there. Yeah, to be fair, he had this whole skull obliterated, yeah. Like I said, he he just got an explosive stick shoved right into his face, right into his eye socket. So I think that's I think that's fair. Kind of OP, but it makes sense, right? Oh, there's the one amigos over there. Yeah, I'm just not gonna deal with it. It's one of the tankiest creatures in the entire game, right there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. Also, I'm gonna get ghoulified soon if I don't <laughs> use a rat away. Oh, that was just raw meat. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Also, my character is very tired now. Can I just sleep in Virgil's cave? Yeah, the Skyrim still dodge your build creep into another Bethesda IP. That's that's the joke. That, that's the joke I'm going for with this next video, yeah. I just used the right away and didn't even do much. Oh, it's still it's still climbing, that still helps a little bit. Still going, okay. The crossbow is a foot hook, but it doesn't load that way. Yeah, we were, we were talking about that the other day. I don't know, just that's how the mod author made it, okay? <laughs> it's funny. You just load it like an absolute chad. You're just one handing it. You're just raw dogging that crossbow with one hand. Not even using the hook. Don't even have the little claw either. Raw dogging it for real. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. I have Suppose the code. I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of how'd you manage? Yes. The railroad helped me. Oh god, those crooks. <laughs> he said, oh god. See, even Virgil knows. Even Virgil knows. Or setting computer terminals free, or I'm sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only so I did the best I could. From yeah, let's, let's get through this. Here's the symbol. You thank, know, you, the green, thank you, thank you. All the data's on... I... Yeah, I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises, but if you can build this device... Yeah, I can build it. I've done it before, bro. I've done this like 20 times, bro. Good, good. I don't even know how many times I beat Fall Apart. Quite a lot, though. Make it. I don't... It's my own... But I no, make it a lot one. more doing these challenges. Alright. Now we can go build the, the signal thingy. 
activator. No, I already had an activator. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix, like, you move slower with the bow. It's very... I don't even realize it, but once you, like, switch, it becomes very apparent. And that doesn't make sense for the bow to be that slow. It's a freaking bow. It's not like you're carrying around a minigun. Big difference, for real. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I think I might just zoom out of here to my motorcycle, though. I already cleared the path. I should do that. My goodness, it is very dark. Yeah, shoot, I guess I'll just run back over. Dude, I need to level up one more time, please. Just one more time, I beg of you. One more time, please. 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 I also want to go down here and get my get those bobbleheads. Get uh, agi no agility, endurance, and then luck. I want to get those eventually. Oh, it's like something I do in pretty much every single playthrough. You might as well. They're all right next to each other. Still haven't gotten the intelligence bobblehead yet, though. <laughs> Still at one intelligence, which is funny. But yeah, I think I might just go ahead and just zoom on out of here on my motorbike. It was fun on the way here. But I do what I want. For maximum fun. Critical fuel amount. Whoops, I forgot to refuel my bike, so I hope we don't run out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, uh, I should probably go craft some fuel for this thing. Seems like I forgot to do so. Whoopsie. So if I go faster, does it consume more fuel? How does that work? I don't know. Oh! Ow. Just get out of here. Critical fuel amount. Uh oh. Uh oh. This can't be good. Where's that? That's the golden one here. I'm almost out of here. Yeah, here's the edge. I might have, like, definitely got enough to get out of the glowing sea. Yeah, we're out of here now. However, I'm not sure I can make it back home. I'm just gonna zoom past this super mutant camp if you don't mind me. Uh, see, you, see you guys later. I need to go back home to sleep. I am very tired. I'm a long day of stealth archery. Bonk. Yeah, I'm gonna bonk that down. Can I cross that bridge? I don't, I can't see. Yeah, I can cross that bridge. Oh, hello, there's a bunch of. Okay, see ya. Skirt! <laughs> this makes things so much better. I can't imagine playing a normal survival playthrough without having, like, a bike now, honestly. This dude is so slow. Let's go and just bonk this bull. Bonk. You know what? There's... Oh, there's a liquor right there. Here, I'm just gonna go up these stairs with my bike. Don't mind me. <laughs> that works. Sweet. This thing is just a UTV, man. I can go anywhere. I can <laughs> go over any any cliff or mountain with this thing. It's better than a Skyrim horse. <laughs> I'm just ignoring all the roads. I'm paving my own path. There we go. Dude, I just barely made it home. Perfect. 
How much fuel do I have in this bad boy? Please stop bugging on him. Okay. Okay, four. I don't know how much I don't know how much that means, but that's very low. Do you read chat? No, I don't. I would never read chat. Literally, obviously you just joined the you just joined the stream because I reach out all the time. Let's gotta find something to talk about first. Say okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Let's drop all this stuff off. Cool. Arrow. I don't have any plastic. Bruh. Something just exploded over there. <laughs> There's always a war zone going on right next to my... Humble abode. Good grief! Two vertebrae just crashed. I want to. I'm curious to see what's going on over here now. What could possibly be going on outside my house? What just took down two vertebrates? These goddards are dope. Cool. I don't want to see those attackers. Is that his, I think it's. It's muties, isn't it? Yeah, it's muties. Who's gonna win? The, I, 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 would, I would assume the Brotherhood would win. I mean, they've got freaking power on me. Alright. Yeah, okay, I think they won. Yeah, okay, I think what happened was this super mutant right here had a minigun. And he shot down both vertebrates with that with that bad boy. That's probably what happened. Can I even pick that thing up? I can actually pick it up. It weighs a lot, but I can pick it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna look around a mini a mini in my backpack. Oh, he died though. That's very unfortunate. I'm gonna take your stuff and sell it if you don't mind, man. That stuff's too heavy, but cool. That's all done. Thank you. Your mod list available? Yeah, it's you can check my videos. Literally every video I post, there's my mod list is in the description. I like how weary is. That's wait, what? Why is that a thing I can consume? How do I, I was looking for a gas mask filter. I need to put tags on these damn things. There they are. But yeah, I don't have my mod list linked in the description of the live streams. I probably should do that. Or maybe they should know the rocket launcher. Either way, yeah, they shot down the vertebrates with one of these bad boys. So yeah, uh, I'm glad for my mind was in my life stream description, but for now, it's in every single video. Just put it on one to find it. Bottom of the description, every single video. Be ready, though, it's not very organized, it's the list. It's the big ass list, so good luck. Yeah, you can skim through it. But I definitely would not recommend just downloading everything haphazardly. Please don't do that. Please don't just download every single thing you see. <laughs> that might not work. You might, because I understand, like, if you're new to modding, right, and you want to just get a giant load order, you just, like, you'll you'll look at the mods and cl click download and every single one, install without even looking at the description, you know? And you're like, oh, dude, why did my game crash? Well, because you just downloaded 100 mods and there's some incompatibility issues. That's why. So be careful with that. It's going to take some time. You could try looking at some collections, but, you know, I can't recommend any. I don't use collections, because I've been modding the game myself for ever since the game came out, so. I've already got my own collection here, basically. There's no reason for me to download one. I've got my own curated playthrough. So, can't recommend one. Am I leveled up yet? Damn. No, I'm almost there. I'm getting close. I just want to, yeah, I'm super close to kill a few more dudes. Can use those mods on Xbox? I don't know. I have no clue, man. Most of them, probably not. Just because, you know, um, oh, you know, like, PC just simply has the ability to use the script extender. So there's a lot of mods you just can't have on console because of that. It requires any scripting or stuff like that. 
Like, nope, can't have it. Like, you can get something simple like... Oh, whoops, wrong button. How do I get out of this? Get me out. I'm stuck in the menus. Okay, there we go. Like, if you want to down download a simple weapon mod, like, I'm pretty... I'm certain you could probably find this bow on Xbox. Look up else. It might be on... It, it might be on Xbox. As for the... Is the gas mask mod on Xbox? I don't know. Is NACX on Xbox? I have no clue, man. If someone asks me if a mod's on Xbox, I don't know. I do not look at the modding page for for Xbox because I don't own an Xbox. So, uh, really all I can say is that all I can say is uh, I don't know. Just go look it up. <laughs> just go look at the title of the mod. You'll probably you might find it. You might not. That's the best advice I can give you. Oh yeah, I should I go to sleep? Huh? Why am I so tired though? Probably because I took a bunch of right away. For some reason, uh, taking drugs that uh, reduces your radiation makes you sleepy. Is that is that immersive? Probably. I don't know. You can? You can what? Wait. Y'all are obviously replying to me, right? You're saying yes, you can. You can play with the mods? Hmm. How'd you download the shader? Oh, okay, so EMB is a different is a way is a different process. If you want to download an EMB, you can't just download it and install it like a normal mod. Go go look up a, just go look up a uh, go look up a tutorial on YouTube. Literally look up how to install Fallout 4 EMB, and they'll walk you through it. It's kind of hard for me to explain it just over words. Because obviously, like, me just telling you in the live stream, you're not going to be able to follow follow it. So it's definitely a lot easier if you have a video showing you exactly what the script, what, like, what the, what the files look like and all that stuff. So go do that. That'll help you out. Are these mods on PlayStation? <laughs> Boy. No, there's, like, no mods on PlayStation. Good luck. For some reason, I, I think it's, like, PlayStation doesn't allow custom assets. So, like, the only thing you can get on PlayStation is, like, altered vanilla stuff, basically. You can't get new meshes and textures. Like, you can't get new weapon mods. You can just get kit-bashed abominations, basically. So you can't get cool stuff like this, which is very unfortunate. I feel bad for PlayStation users. I feel bad for, for console users in general that want to mod their game. But PlayStation especially, man. Like, damn. Y'all y'all get barely anything. Unfortunate. I'm so glad I got a PC when Fallout came out. I don't have to worry about all that. But hey, you know, at least I'll get some mods. You get something. Better than nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I should probably go refill my water. Yeah, the bows on Xbox? Yeah, I thought so. Like, usually weapon mods. There's really n not too much preventing, you know, weapon mods from being on Xbox. It's only, like, script mods. Like, Fallout 4... Like, anything that relies on the Fallout 4 script extender, you can't have it on console. But yeah, a weapon mod, it's most likely going to be on, on console. Or Xbox, at least. Like, an armor mod? Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that this stealth suit is probably on Xbox as well. So, stuff like that. Armor, armor and weapon mods, almost always is going to be on Xbox too. Almost always, I would assume. There you go. But it's like, I don't think, like, like this mod, right? Uneducated Shooter, the leaning mod, I don't... No, I don't think it's... I think this one relies on the script extender, so I don't think you can have this on Xbox, though. I'm pretty sure it's not on Xbox. I don't see how it would be. Pretty cool mod though. Stuff like that. Probably not gonna be on console. <laughs> GPU 4090. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. But still, it still shrivels with Fallout in downtown. I'm using an ENB. So, if I turn off my ENB, let's see. I'm trying to find a spot where we can see my frame counter. Is it like 90? Huh. 
pretty long too, but... Okay, it drops about like 15, 20 frames, I'd say. Alright, so that's 82 FPS. This is no EMB. I'm, I'm, I'm at about 83, 82 FPS right here. Just looking at this random wall. If I turn on my EMB. 78. Okay, so that's only 5 frames in that scenario. Okay, so that's not too bad. Huh. But in some areas, it is worse. Interesting. I thought it'd be worse than that. What are we doing now? Oh, yeah, we're going to go to turn in my stuff. Railroad is cool, guys. Guys, please. Grail guys, please. Just join the railroad. Join the railroad, please. I was going to craft arrows. And I oh, yeah, I need to get plastic. I totally forgot. Whoopsie. Link mod is on Xbox? No way. That's crazy. No way. I don't believe you. You're lying. Impossible. That, that can't be. That can't be possible. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also didn't get a fuel for my bike. Hold on. Before I go any further. I need to craft like a little like station for it. I forgot about that. Hello? Oh. I don't have any plastic. Okay, well, let me go get some plastic real quick from there. It is like a show proof. I'm, I know I'm joking with you. I'm joking with you. You don't have to show me proof. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just yanking your chain, you know? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna pick up some stuff to sell. I'm gonna go sell like some of these guns. I don't need them, obviously. This is bow only. We only use bows in this household. Okay, I'm over encumbered now. I wonder why. Probably could have just picked up a giant minigun. Alright, see ya. Okay, bye. I have one trap with the crossbow. Huge. My boy Adam said it's been a huge fan of the channel. Glad someone cares enough to give the game more of a challenge. Yes. Indeed. Glad you're a fan. Very awesome, very cool. Oh, there's a raider just attacking Diamond City. I mean, this, I mean, th this little playthrough has been pretty, has been pretty neat so far. I am definitely enjoying it. And just doing like the, because <laughs> it's the big meme, bro. Literally, like, I'm playing Skyrim. Literally, you know, I got the stealth suit on with the bow. This is the equivalent of someone using, you know, using the Nightingale suit as a stealth archer, basically. Literally the same thing, just different universe. Do you have plastic, please? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Lord, she can't, she can't afford that. You cannot afford, afford, afford my diamond sword, sword. Cool. You want to buy some drugs? Yes. Who the hell uses Hydra? Shit's useless. Cool. All right. Well, I guess I got. I've got a lot of money. All I all I need to spend it on is just junk, really. Interesting. This dude for real said, I'm going to drive home. If I don't comment in 15 minutes, I crashed. Please, <laughs> please do not watch and drive. Just drive. Watch the road, dude. <laughs> or are you just saying, like... Or you, I mean, if, the way you said it, it seems like you, you're implying that you're going to be watching the stream. Or, like, texting and driving or something. Yeah, don't do that. It's bad. Look at the road. Because there's sometimes... I Like, I, I've done that before. Like, I'd be on my phone... I be driving and like and like and like I look back up like oh, damn I just like swerved a little bit like shit, I need to not do that ever again. It's it's one of the craziest feelings. You catch yourself on your phone, you're driving. Please just don't put your phone like in your glove box or something, man. And good for you. Now booze cruising on the other hand. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't. It's bad. 
Give me your plastic now. Sweet fertilizer. Do you have any acid? And I, I don't mean like the drug acid. I mean just mean like, mean like regular like acid or something, you know. So I can use it to craft bombs. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'm gonna make some arrows out of a life preserver. That's realism. Oh, sweet. She has more. Dude, awesome. Made of plastic. So fantastic. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Okay, that's good. Damn. Okay, well, I'm going to buy that. I guess I'll buy something else to split the difference. Uh, sure, I'll take... I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take that. Sure, okay. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, there's, so there's some acid. That's what I like. I like, I like me some acid. Cool. I'm going to use old batteries and fertilizer to make bombs. <laughs> is that even possible? <laughs> Brandy Boy out of context. Yeah. This Brandy Boy out of context video is going to be hilarious. Okay, I'm glad, Jacob. Jacob said he's not going to watch and drive. Very good. I'm glad. Very responsible man. Okay, here I go. <laughs> okay, see ya. Now. Oh yeah, it's a day Raider. Cool. There's a new Barbie movie? No, I'm not gonna watch that. Do I look like or do I sound like the guy the guy who watches Barbie who watches Barbie movies? <laughs> With, uh... The hell is the Barbie movie gonna be about? Something's gonna goofy. I'm only gonna come up with a Fallout movie, dude. I don't think it's the Fallout TV show, actually. I'm, just, I'm interested to see where that goes. It might end up being kind of dookie, but I might, I may give it a shot. What I'm really afraid of is, like, in the Fallout show, it's probably going to look like Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, though. So they're probably going to have the, the goofy assault rifle and combat rifle, I bet. They're going to have all the ugly shit in there, I bet. And I'm not looking forward to that. It would be nice... To see if they change the aesthetic up and make it a little bit more true to the the classics. We'll see. Probably not though. But I will be hopeful. Hmm. I totally forgot to get water. What the? Kill point. Broadheads. Let's go. Thing I got up those on. Oh yeah, explosive bolts. I mean, I don't really. I've already got explosive arrows. I think the bolts do more damage though. No, yeah, like I just thought about yeah, the uh, imagine this the sword, right? Like, how are they even gonna make that prop? That's the thing. Oh, you know what I just realized? Okay. Okay. Actually, they probably won't use the assault rifle, right? There's no way they're gonna be able to actually make. Because they would have to make those guns. Because those guns are not real. The assault rifle, the combat rifle, those guns are completely fabricated. They're not real. So, it would actually be easier if they just bought real guns. And used those as props. You know? So, it just makes a lot more sense if they just got real guns. Because, like, you would have to, like, make your own little gun. Like, just have some gunsmith smash together all these parts like it's just not gonna it's not gonna work so it may be a vickers machine gun they could just do that they could just make it a regular like plain vickers or a maxim or a lewis it's like a cut the, the thing about the assault rifle it's a combination of literally all of those so you know it'd be i don't know but yeah, use World War II guns. Yeah, they can still do that. I think they're better off. I think they should use the G3, the FAL, 
uh, the M16A1, even the Colt Commando. All those guns are totally lore friendly. I would love to see if they put the if they put the Colt Commando in there. That'd be nice. By that I mean the Car 15. Where they find a left-handed rifle? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, for the Fallout show, they're not gonna be able to do the left-handed the left-handed uh, guns. Right? Because they just, like, don't... Ex well, and they do it. There are left-handed guns, but, like... I think... Don't you have to have that shit, like, specially made for you or something? I don't know. Like, I know there's, like, there's some left-handed bolt-action rifles and stuff like that. I think you... Can you just swap the bolt over on some of them? I don't know, but yeah. So, actually, in the Fallout show, we may actually get realistic guns, guys. Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. What if they use modern guns? How will that look? They're not going to use modern guns. No, there's no way. They're po at, at the very most, they're going to keep it lore-friendly. And by lore-friendly, I mean New Vegas. So, they can go to a Car 15. Like, from, like... Even then, the Car 15 was made, like... It was, like, 70s. But it does look modern. It's, it's so interesting. When you say modern guns, we're talking about guns that were made in the 60s. Like, the M16... That's considered modern, but it's also retro because it's like 50 years old. No, 60. M16 is like over 60 years old. That's crazy. It's considered a modern gun. <laughs> so yeah, here's to hoping they actually put real guns in the Fallout show. Because like I said, it's just not realistic for them to uh, put into fantasy guns. Because they would have make the prop and it would just look like a super silly toy. It would look so silly. Of course, they will have to fab They will have to make the laser weapons, though, like the energy weapons. They'll have to make those either way, unless they do something like Star Wars, right? What Star Wars did? Star Wars literally took random World War II guns and just like, okay, this is a laser gun now, and just <laughs> put a scope on it. It's a laser gun. They put a scope on a mouser, like, okay, this is a laser blaster. Okay, <laughs> they could do something like that, but I think they will try to try and somehow make the laser guns to like how they look in the games, probably. We'll see. I'm going to make this into a video now. Will the show be about Fallout 4? Or Fallout New Vegas? Plot? Neither. They're not going to make a show about one of the games. It's going to be... Well, I mean, we don't know. If I had to assume, they're going to make an entirely new story. That just only makes sense. Why would they retell the same story that we've already seen? You know? Just go play the game then. At least I really do hope they show us some new stories. I, I think it'd be cool if they... If the Fallout show wasn't, like, stuck in one place. If they went all over. In, like, different time periods throughout the Fallout universe. That'd be cool. Like, if they showed stuff from pre-war. Right after post-war. And then, like, 200 years later. If they, like... Had, like, different storylines and stuff. That'd be cool. We'll see, though. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I don't want to just be stuck with one... One character... And like one like band of characters, or whatever, in the same place that just get boring. I want to because I because there's so many things we just don't know about the Fallout universe, and I want to see them fill in those gaps, especially pre-war and like directly post-war, because all of Fallout takes place like a hundred years plus after the Great War. So I want to see some, besides Fallout seventy six. Fallout seventy six is the only exception, I think. But even then, that's 25 years later. I want to see some shit, like, right after the bombs drop. That'd be crazy. Or a Fallout game during that period would be dope. That would literally just be, like, Metro then. And, but that's, what, that's kind of what I want, though, for real. Fallout Ohio. <laughs> That'd be funny. How hyped am I? I mean, I'm not really hyped, but I'm interested to see what they come up with. I'm not going to sit here on the edge of my seat waiting for the Fallout show to release. You know? Like, if it comes out and it ends up being a stinker, I'm like, ah, oh, who cares? Ah, I totally forgot to craft fuel, by the way. All this talking got me distracted, for real. Did they follow the in-game lore or they invent a new one? I mean, if we're... I mean, just look at Fallout 4 and 76. Fallout 4 and 76 alone introduced a lot of retcons. So, they're probably going to introduce even more retcons in the show. Or just... I don't even know if the show's going to be considered canon. I do hope they try and keep it lore friendly, like for the most part, and try and, like I said, fill in the gaps that we of the stuff we don't know about, but make it lore friendly. That'd be neat. What am I doing? Oh yeah, the 
I, the, the, the bench. The, the crafting station. Yeah, the craft I'm just totally, totally distracted talking about this. Um, biofuel. That's a lot of fuel. This dude just said, just put a camera outside for Fallout Ohio. For real. <laughs> Jeez. Customize? Yeah, there we go. So, where's the biofuel at? Biofuel. There we go. We filled up the bike now. That's very immersive. This dude said, I hope they implement Ricky <laughs> to the show. <laughs> dude, please. We need to get a Ricky cameo. I love Ricky. <sighs> Alright, so I think we're good to head out now, finally, right? I think I'm... I just stop distracting myself. They optimized the game for the show. Okay. Exploded over here. Oh, that guy exploded. Weird. <laughs> oh well. I'm zooming. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Are there any other like settlements that are close to the? They're close to the railroad HQ. I think Hangman's Island is the only one. And even then, it's kind of far. It's literally on the other side of Boston. The complete opposite side. I just ran over a dog and I didn't even see it. But, you know, it wasn't my fault. That dog should have been on a leash, am I right? Come on, man. I'll be zooming on this thing for real. I'll be zooming so fast the game isn't even loaded in yet. The Lone Wonders Bike Mod? No, it's just called. The name of the bike mod is just called Drivable Motorcycles. It's pretty simple. Easy enough to remember. Fallout Alaska, that would be dope. I think Fallout Alaska would be cool for a game. I wouldn't want to see the show there. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for the game, please. That'd be dope. That's what they need to do for Fallout 5 is Fallout Alaska. Like, I, I, have, I have a pretty awesome idea they could do for Fallout, Fallout Alaska. Like, like, you should be, like, your character should be, like, a pre-war soldier going into the Battle of Anchorage, right? Stuff like that. And, like, it's, so like, the first segment of the game. You, like, you, you, you do, like, one mission, like, the Battle of Anchorage or something, and then, like, after that, you get, like, nuked, and then, like, you can play, like, directly after the war, and it becomes, like, a nuclear winter survival. That'd be so dope. That'd be dope. Something? I would love that. Please, make that into a game. It would be the best follow game ever made. So that's what the Corsair chip was all about. Join the super mutant faction. <laughs> Why? No, sorry, you can't do that. What does this machine do? You can't do that in Fallout 4. You can only join the railroad. There's, there's no other options. We've yes. spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives you only look surprised. to discover not a goddamn thing. At, at the end, this is How else would they get in there? I'm gonna dig a hole. This, this feels weird. I they were this is the big one. I have never gone with the railroad. Ever. Fallout 4. I've literally never seen this dialogue before in my entire life. Here you go. Who wrote this? He said, Holo, 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 holo. Who wrote this? <laughs> this guy. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those instant egg eggs are crazy. And you can divert the signal using the This is so annoying. I do not like his voice. Can you build it, the Tom? Cover all the high -end egg -head shit, but they're missing a ton of engineering detail. This dude looks like a, he looks like a conspiracy conspiracy this theorist. The stabilized reflector platform. Just by the time. Dude looks like he believes in ancient aliens, and he'd be right because aliens exist in Fallout. So. <laughs> and I've done a whole lot more with a whole lot less, my friend. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. 
this baby is big. Yes. I know Pam was running. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials. Safe house. Okay, I gotta go to the safe house. Cool. Talk to Pam about Mercer. Where's, where's Mercer Station at? Where's that at? Why the hell is it way over there? What the hell? I despise the railroad. This is a certified brum moment. Maybe I should turn on the... Because I actually never played this part before, so maybe I should actually turn, turn the dialogue and pay attention. Why's my mom vacuuming? Seriously? Cool. It's loud. Please stop that. Confirmed. Chat is delayed? Oh, really? Oh! Oh, a chat is delayed on a stream! I mean, yeah, it's gonna be delayed. That's just how, that's just how streams work. I put mine on maximum, like, on the lowest latency possible, but there's still gonna be a delay on there. So, I don't know how big the delay is. Probably, like, 20... Maybe even 30 seconds. Okay, like, the, the next time I see... I see... Someone... Talk in the chat. He said, very delayed. How delayed? Agent's temperature is irrelevant to this conversation. Because I, I saw that as soon as you typed it in. I can go watch the stream myself, actually. Let me see. That's not that bad. So, I don't know how big the delay is. Probably like 30 seconds. It pacified the Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. A few hours. This <laughs> is bro said by a few hours. <laughs> okay, so yeah, okay, I just read that, right? It's all that so, as soon as you typed it in. So I can go watch the stream myself, actually. No, it's gotta be like a good 30 seconds, maybe even more. It's actually it's slower than normal. So I don't know how big the delay is. Let me see this. Aliens. And he'd be right, because aliens exist in Fallout, so. <laughs> Dude, the stream quality looks good. Like, damn, that's good. It just rounds up the platform components you need. Interesting. Yeah, let's go do that. Secure Tappington Boathouse. Wow, that sounds like fun. I never even knew that was a safe house for the railroad. <laughs> One minute, 30 seconds? Damn, okay, so it's actually a lot longer than I thought. A minute and 30 seconds. No problem. Okay, just, yeah, that's a lot longer than normal. Okay. No one is paying attention. Hey, that's right. that, right? Interesting. The stream quality looks really good, though. Because uh, I also turned up the quality of the stream a little bit. So the game looks good, doesn't it? It should look... It, it looks pristine for me. I was just looking at it. This shit looks good. So that's the thing. That, that's the trade-off when it comes to streaming. It's either you have a shitty quality stream and it's instant. Or you have it look really, really good and you'll have like a minute delay. So that's just how it works. Get used to it. I mean, I set my, I set my, like, okay, I'm streaming in 1080p, right? 1080p, I set my upload speed to 9,000 kilobits, or, or 900 megabytes, or, that'd be 9 megabytes then, right? Yeah, 9, nine megabytes per second. Yeah, this dude's already saying it looks better than my stream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I turned up the quality a little bit. I, I had the quality preset on just better last time, but then I put it on best for this stream, because I want to test it out, see how much better it looks. It looks perfect. It looks... It looks crystal clear. Because when I was watching the other streams, I was watching them back, and I could see, I could see little, like, little, like, pixels here and there. And I was like, eh, it, look, it looks good, but, like, I can still, you know, see these little squares popping up. It's not perfect. It's not, not crisp. So this stream is crispy, isn't it? So what do you guys think? Do you guys want it to be crispy, or do you guys want to have faster chat? Like a faster response time on the chat. What do you think? Have you tried Twitch? No. No, I don't stream on Twitch. There's no point for me to go to Twitch. I'm my following is all on YouTube, so be too much of a hassle to try and switch over over there. I'm just not even familiar with Twitch. I never go on Twitch. 
Like, I've, I, I've looked at the website, but I literally have not watched a single stream on Twitch before. <laughs> I don't know. I'm definitely... I'm just not... I'm not a... I'm not really in the stream sphere. You know? I don't really... Like, I don't even really watch streams on YouTube either. I'll watch some long-ass videos. But, you know, for me personally, I don't have the time to watch a stream for, like, two hours, so... It's just not something I do. You guys like it, though. It's cool. You know, to each their own. Because I'm the one streaming, so if I'm the one streaming for four hours, I don't got time to watch someone else stream for four hours, you know? Makes sense. Bonk. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Crispy is good. Game's running at like three frames a second. What are you talking about? I mean, okay. I mean, it is stuttering right there pretty bad. You're not wrong. Like, especially when I get on the bike and I start going really fast, my game will stutter. But let me know what you like. Is the frame rate actually bad? I was tapping a boat house on the other side of the lake here. Whatever. So you guys saying it is indeed very crispy. Crispy is good. That's good. Oh god, I do not want to go into West Everett. No thanks. Oh, some geese. Okay, I'll just park here. I'll just park here. We're good. Yeah, the game has to. Yeah, I know, obviously. So it really, it, the, the most stuttery it'll get is when I go on the bike. Look at this beaver right here. He's got owned. Absolutely destroyed. This water actually looks good. I like it. it looks tasty. I'm gonna take a sip. Oh! Those are not dead. <laughs> I thought they were dead. Oh, I totally overshot that. Oh! Somehow the bug just triggered her mind despite not even being on the ground, but whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna make some bombs from those acid. The bug acid. My GPU is crying. No, not really. Wait, actually, let me pull up my shadow play. Let me do, like, the HUD. Right? Turn on advanced. It'll show me how much of my GPU is being used. The GPU utilization is about 80%. So that's actually pretty high. My GPU is definitely going to work. But my, my PC is not making a whole lot of noise. So it's just chilling right now. My GPU temperature is at 68. That's totally normal. If that shit was running at like 80, I'd be like, okay, my GPU is, my GPU is crying. But 68 is normal for running a game. 68 degrees Celsius, that is. Pretty much the general rule is, like, as long as your CPU and GPU are, like, chilling around, like, 70, 75, you're good, man. If you start going up to, like, 80 or 90, I'm like, okay, bro, you need to get a better cooling system. I'm sure it's going to melt. Y'all can't see that, can you? No, y'all can't see that overlay. Just realized that. Well, you can hear, though. I can hear the mantis with boots above me. I'm gonna do the sneak attack. Obviously, I don't even need a sneak attack. There's just bugs or whatever. I am a stealth archer, and I must go stealth archer on them. I missed. The staircase is in the way. Owned. Oh, there's no reason for me to be doing this this slow, but it's fun. Oh! This scared me. I pick up this this colander. Hmm. Oh, sneak! Oh no! Okay, no, <laughs> it's not an enemy. It's just the workbench. I could be the workbench. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Why is my night vision on? What the hell? That's odd. Now it's off. 
There's a freaking MG42 machine gun in this chest. <laughs> Dope. Who just leaves an MG42 in their chest like that? Now, if it really doesn't make any sense, why would you put a gun in a chest like that? You put that in a gun safe or like, you know, this thing belongs in a fucking museum. People just be owning MG42s recreationally in the Commonwealth before the bombs dropped. Let us assuming that for some reason this gun just never got picked up in 200 years. I like to think... I like to think that a lot of this loot is left by other survivors. I think that makes more sense. Because this, this is just a random chest. Like, it seems more like some survivors came by and they used this house for a while and they put their loot in here. Right? That, that, that seems more realistic. That's what I like to think when it comes to loot and fallout. Because obviously, it makes no sense that people wouldn't have looted this house after 200 years. Like, why is this safe... Like, are you telling me nobody ever unlocked this safe after 200 years? Okay, cool. Not very immersive. What do I, oh, am I supposed to build a teleporter here? Probably. Uh, do I have the stuff for it? It says, yeah, it's telling me to build it, right? Oh, it just says build defenses. So I gotta defend this place? That's kind of goofy. What the hell? Oh, we just set up some of these heavy machine gun turrets. Cool, that works. Yeah, let's just, uh, maybe I should actually put cover in it. I don't know, let's do that. That works. Yeah. Oh, 80%. Oh, I gotta get more defenses now? What the hell? Oh, my God, bro. Oh, I gotta craft one more turret. Uh. Tell me I gotta, 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 gotta get, like, some junk, like, some junk or something. Okay, that's cool. Huh. Yeah, I guess I have to. I need to get some, some steel, some gear, and oil. Okay. I guess I'll go back to Hangman's Alley real quick and get that shit. Got some Florida man left it for later. That's funny. Found Grandpa's house, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, so I suppose I'll just have to go back to Hangman's Alley and get some more junk. Craft everything. Oh well, that's kind of lame. Whatever. Motorcycle. Whoops. Miss. I I hate navigating this. There we go. Very fun. Very cool. It's invisible as well, cooler, yeah. That's some really goofy loot in these games. Like, we were just talking earlier about how that Scar H fat up. There was a Scar H that was fitting inside of a toolbox. Oh, this is the trap bridge. Oh, God. I was so close to blowing up. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go over here, if you don't mind me. Just leave my bike there. <laughs> I just realized that. I totally could have just blown everything up. All right, and then we'll just teleport the bike on over here. Well, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> that works. It uses the Institute technology to teleport towards me, so that's how it works. I'm going to avoid that because I do not want to start Automatron. No, thank you. That's the worst DLC in the entire game. It's so goofy. I mean, building robots is cool, but I, I, DLC is just lame. <laughs> Bonk. Speed it up. Oh yeah, I still haven't killed these guys yet. I should probably do that at some point. Uh, maybe later. I'll just keep running over in the meantime. You know what? Am I close to leveling up? I can't check on my bike. Can I check now? Hello? Can I check now? I am, yeah, I'm super close to leveling up. So I'm going to kill these dudes and see if I can level up now. That's what I need to do. Might as well. 
That dude in power armor? Oh god, he has a minigun. Okay, uh, let's... I don't have my armor on, do I? That might be a good idea to put that on. Okay, we need to get prepared for this. Sheesh. Alright, let's, let's take a different approach. Let's, let's mix him up a little bit. Definitely gonna have to use this Taylor Dean power armor. How do they just know I'm over here? Okay, well, I'm gonna keep running away so you guys just, like, forget where I'm at. I was never here. Forget about me. Oh, God, the minigun. Oh! I do not need to be wearing my gas mask right now. This is just gonna damage it. Yeah, I definitely do not want that dude in power armor to see me. Remember, I tried killing these dudes earlier and I got absolutely shredded. Dude, that one gun sound is extremely loud. It's like tickling my brain how loud it is. So let's try and sneak up on these dudes. Dude, what gun is even causing that though? Hello. There we go. All I needed was one kill to level up. That's funny. I guess I could just go and skedaddle. But yeah, so, okay. I got the engineering up to 75 now. So now I can fix up the stealth suit mark too. That's the only reason... Oh, someone... Oh, okay. This is the start of the camp right here. I thought I went around it. Whoops. Okay. I'm getting... Absolutely lit up right here. Oh no. Oh no! He's throwing a grenade at- Good god. This is an absolute cluster. Also, I think my armor's broken as well. It's damaged, okay. Almost. Oh my- As soon as I peek that. Just no scope me. <laughs> that was brutal. Another thing with survival. In survival, you heal super slow. Why the fuck am I way back here? Did I not quick save? Fuck this game. Shit ass game. I hate this game. I'm never gonna play it ever again. Oh yeah, I need to add that to the death counter. I can see on this stream. Yeah, that stream is kind of far behind. For real. Why are you putting death in chat? You can't... Only I can use commands, my boy. Rip. That's a big rip. Yeah, that... That raider camp has been... Uh, that raider camp is going to be hard to clear out. Let's try to. Uh, can I just like go on this side of the bridge without? What the hell? There's a bike right there. Right. Okay. Cause like, <laughs> as long as I don't trigger that mine right there or that or that trip wire, I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. See. See. Okay. I'm good. We're good. But instead of killing those raiders, I can kill something else. I just want to level up. Get that stealth suit mark too. I know there's some muties over here. I can do the muties. Which are surprisingly easier. Because they're dumb. They're dumb and green. I only need like one or two kills to level up. This fucking bug is irritating. Or just eating arrows for breakfast. Look how bad his accuracy is. Looks like he's using a shotgun. Is he using a shotgun attachment? Yeah, take all this gas mask. I don't need it. <laughs> Look at those arrows. Whoa. Bruh. 
so let's see. I'm one XP away from leveling up. Come on, just one more thing. That's all I need. Where's the construction site at? Oh, there it is. There's some bees over here. Of course it's chained. reloading. One more. These are way easier to deal with. They're all split apart. Them raiders all rush me at once. It's brutal. Oh, okay. Never. Mind. It's the, it's this it's the friendly centaur up here. <laughs> the guy with the hat. His name's Clancy. <laughs> so fucking. That's hilarious. That's cool. Yo, parkour. Is there anything up here? There's a cooler right there. there Better be something good in there. This is dangerous. Damn. This thing's actually packed. Who puts money in a cooler? Who puts a revolver in a cooler? What the hell? They just put everything in there. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh, dude, I didn't even know if there's a highway path here. That's cool. Huh. Anyway. Third level up? No, I can level up now. Oh, I just realized. Another reason why my, why my skills are leveling up so slow is because I have one intelligence. If I had 10 intelligence, my, I would have way more skill points. So that's another bad thing about having low intelligence. Just re remember that. <laughs> that does make a big difference over time, too. Like, literally, if I was, like, 10 intelligence, I would have, like, 100 and several skills by now. Oh, well. This truck is a little bit bugged out. Let's shoot it open with a bow. Let's see if we can get it to work. Oh, no, I just broke it. Whoops. See if there's anything out there. Interesting. Oh, look, there's even little like elevator thing. Does this bring me down? No, this brings me up. What? Huh, I don't think I've ever been on this highway before. This is cool. Look, there's another elevator. Wow. This is so cool, man. Very cool. Where does this one go? Okay. It's, this one just brings you up and down between the upper and lower, upper and lower level. Hmm. Can I just go all the way to downtown with this? Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh. Wow. I did not know it connected like that. That is that is pretty neat. I've been playing this game for how many years and I didn't know you could do that? Yeah, it brings you all the way to the garden terrace. There's a death claw over here, isn't there? Oh my gosh, the frame rate's getting absolutely destroyed right now, though. I can hear some raiders. Is not a good neighbor over here somewhere? Oh lord, what is going on? Oh, it's because this bugged out truck, that's why. Oh yeah, there's there's Fenuel Hall, or whatever it's called. Snipe this dude. 
Oh, damn, just one shot him. That's brutal. I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> this is a stellar just paradise, though. Look at this. They can't get me. This is beautiful. I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, that truck again, yeah. How is this truck not falling off the bridge by now? That's ridiculous. It's unimmersive. Cool. A nice little path for me to go down. Wow. That's one thing I kind of I really like about Fallout 4 is that there is a good amount of like verticality and interconnectedness when it comes to the highways and the buildings in downtown. You can find stuff like that. Which is very, very cool. I guess we can just go to Good Neighbor and go buy the supplies then. That works too. How are you not dead? Die. Why is a dog carrying a freaking juggernaut plate of all things? Oh no, it's an alpha mongrel. A top G mongrel. What the hell? Let's sell this stuff. Wait, is she gonna? I need like gears and oil and steel or something. I think I'm actually going to be better to go back to Hangman's Alley. We'll buy something here though. Might as well. Did I actually pick that up? Huh. Interesting. Oil. Hmm. Yes. I like oil. Yeah, so basically, a monkey. That's a lot of money. I gotta sell the MG42 for that. I've already got plenty of oil at home, though, so. I don't really need to buy that. You know? What? Yeah. I don't think it's really worth it. Let's buy more plastic from her, from her, though. She doesn't have any plastic. She has a plastic pumpkin. I can make an arrow out of that. <laughs> a single... Or no, ten arrows, actually. <laughs> there, buy some ammo while you're at it. Cool. Alright, I guess that's what I'll do for now. Alright, time to zoom back to Hangman's Alley. Because also, yeah, I need to go ahead and craft up the Mark II stealth suit as well. What's your favorite favorite gun of all time ever in history of mankind oh sheesh I don't know my favorite gun ever it's like it's hard for me to like by what criteria like just based on how cool it is hmm. hard to pick MG42 is definitely a contender, though. MG42 is pretty badass. Honestly, I, I, I really, I'm, I, I really do like machine guns. So it probably ended up being like a machine gun of some sort. Hmm, I don't know. What are some cool machine guns? Like the M60, M249, M240. Those are all pretty dope. I just like machine, machine guns. Like, whenever I play a shooter game, like, I play, like, Call of Duty or Battlefield or something, I always like using the machine guns, because it's cool. I definitely wish I could have a machine gun. Have, like, a... <laughs> that'd be... Dude, that'd be so dope. But unfortunately, I can't have one of those. They're illegal. Thanks, Obama. It wasn't... Uh, Thanks, Reagan. Let's get out of here. There's some... There's like some aliens over there shooting. Not aliens. Like robots with the laser gun.
This dude said you can examine a garbage can or a face and walk backwards into a vertical surface while looking down and you fly up. Huh. I'm not surprised. It's a Bethesda game. Garbage can? Might have tried that. Three of those, nice. Yeah, we're good here, basically. So yeah, uh, stealth suit, stealth suit, stealth suit. Sweet, there it is. I can craft it. Yes. This will give me the uh, the stealth field. Stealth suit mark two. Let's go. Put it on. The Mark II, baby. It's got more energy resistance. Why not? It doesn't give me plus two strength, though. I think I'll have to take the mod off of this one. Can I do that? Nice! <laughs> now I go invisible. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be a lot more fun now. Now I can just go total stealth mode. They won't even see me. <laughs> now I can be a true stealth archer. Actually, I can't even see my sight, so, uh... I can just do that, actually. I can just aim with the reticle. That's actually way better. That's funny. Yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of goofy about the stealth suit. You can't see when you're aiming at all. Which makes sense, because your gun is camouflaged as well. So I wonder... Oh, let me see. The iron sight. I wonder if the iron sight would be better. Actually, let me see. I have an infection, apparently. That's cool. Oh, okay. No, mm, not kind of, but not really. Only, like, certain circumstances. Like, I, I can see it right here, but I can't see it right here, so. Like, yeah, I think I'll just go with the regular sight then. fine. This one has no sight at all, so obviously there's no point in that one. Sweet. I didn't even, I didn't even boil the water yet. Bruh. That's silly. Moonshine. Sure. I'm gonna have the freaking ATF storm <laughs> storm my house now. I'm making moonshine, I'm building bombs. <laughs> Explosive arrows, yeah. Oh yeah, I need antibiotics. The, I only got one left, make it count. We're gonna not get sick again. Sweet. So let me go and see what upgrades I can apply to the stealth suit here. Can I just take this off and like... Yeah, I can just take it off and put it on the other one. Nice. What else? Can I take that off too? Nice. Yeah, I can, I can literally just take this off and just transfer it. I love that. Let's go. Take that off. Just take all this stuff off. Material. Mark 2. I think I will put back on the Black Ops material just because the all black looks better, honestly. Oh, it already comes... Okay, it already comes with that. Alright. Lead lined. Okay. I think I might actually go for the ultra light build though. Ultra light build gives me more gives me more action points. So I think I'll go ahead and build that. Why not? Ooh, I can upgrade this stuff. Oh, I need science to upgrade it though. That'll give me more stealth. Damn, I now need to upgrade science. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, this is looking good, though. It is the same. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the stats, the I made it to where like the the defense stats are the, are the exact same as the original. Just you know, the stealth suit mark two gives you, gives you the stealth field. Nice. I'm still carrying around this watch, but I can't wear it because like the um, the stealth suit just covers it. Did I get gloves? I do not have gloves for my character yet. I don't, these don't really fit. I tried those out. Dude, there's the PMC gloves. Yeah, I think these fit, though. Oh, does it even cost anything to make them? That's dope. That's balanced. Like, these are modern gloves, though. But I think they kind of fit. I was testing them. Right? What do y'all think? Like, these are, like, modern military gloves. I don't know. Do y'all think they fit with the stealth suit? Because that is a modern aesthetic. But... The stealth suit kind of has that, you know, kind of retro sci-fi look going on a little bit. Hmm, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Probably not. In first person, you can't even really tell. Oh, now you can tell. Like, the, the little knuckle part, you're like, yeah, that definitely looks like a modern military glove right there. We'll see. Just feels... My, my hands feel naked. You know, like, everything else is covered. My hands are just out there. Why did the stealth suit just come with gloves in the first place? Is it like that New Vegas? Hmm. Let's see, what are we gonna do now? Oh, yeah, I need, I need to make sure I get all the junk, right? So... We need some... Okay, this is cool. I don't have any raw junk. I'm just gonna bring over some tin cans. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make turrets out of tin cans and toasters. <laughs> that is so dumb. That is very balanced. Wonder glue, yes. Soap. Just bring over a bunch of random junk and uh hopefully that'll be enough. Gee, I sure hope so. I'm already carrying too much now. Oh yeah, did I ever... That one upgrade. I'm gonna get that one upgrade that gives me the extra strength. Which one is that? Oh, I see. I can only choose one. Okay. So I can't get the extra strength if I want the stealth field. Yeah, that sucks. But I mean, you know, for maximum stealth, I will want this. So that makes things a little bit more balanced. Because this th this thing makes you run around a little bit faster, which is which is pretty neat. Makes you into more of a super soldier. This one is just for stealthiness. But I will go and drop off the other stealth super now. This one's all lightweight. This is a very lightweight build. Six pounds. I think that works. Why are you using a bow? Did you read the title? <laughs> it's, 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 it's the archery only challenge. That's the point. And plus it's stealthy. I mean, it's fun. Because I get to shoot people in the face with a bow and arrow. I think those gloves fit fine. All right. What mod for the bow? It's called L string bow. Like I think, it, like if you ever, if you ever want to find out what a mod is, just look at the mod and just guess what it's titled, and then search for it, and you'll probably find it. Like if you see a bow mod, like hmm, I wonder what that bow mod is. Just type in bow, on like, I don't know if you're on Xbox or PC or whatever, but. Type in bow in the search bar, and you'll probably find it. You know? Also, it literally says L-string on the... What you, on the limb of the bow. You can see it right there. It says L-string. Or actually, you know, the, the chat's blocking it, kind of. Never mind. Wait, is this an archery-only challenge? No. No, it's not, actually. <laughs> 
because it's better. Okay, but yeah, so hopefully I have enough junk. Good grief. Sure, let's just bring that. You need me plenty of acid. You know what I can do? I can just craft a backpack for my bike. I can do that. Where is it at? Equipment? Yeah, I got a light. A steel backpack. Let's go. Let's do that. Yeah. Now I can actually put stuff on the bike. So I can drop all my junk into the bike. Wait. Damn, I can't just do take... I can't do drop all, though. I got to do this. That works. This is the funnest part. This is why I absolutely despise settlement building. It's just too tedious. It takes so long to sit here and be like, Oh, what junk do I need to craft all this shit? You know, like, I don't care. I'm gonna play the game. I, don't, I hate, I hate settlement crafting. Settlement building, whatever. It's stupid. Just makes the game tedious. It's boring. Nobody likes it. I mean, some people do like it. I don't. I never spend my time building settlements. I think this is going to be more than enough junk to craft a teleporter. What do you guys think? I'm just going to take everything. I'm going to take absolutely everything so I don't... There's no way I have to come back. Not possible. <laughs> it would be nice if I could just do a store all for the junk only. But for now, this is the fastest method. That works. Okay, we're done anyway. Doesn't matter. This dude said I'm watching this while making settlements. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because making settlements is boring, so you need something else going on going on in the background to entertain you. <laughs> That's exactly why. And you know what? Now that I've got the stealth suit mark too, I'm gonna kill these raiders. I'm gonna kill these losers. I can sneak around now. What I should do is come in from the other side though. The other side has a better vantage point for sure. I can not very gonna open that damn gate. Get out of the way. Get me back on here. Yeah, you you yeah, making settlements is just not very user friendly. It's just, Oh wait, I, I can't go that way, that's cool. I'll just jump off this ramp. Ow. So that works. <laughs> I was gonna shut back to it. Yeah. The settlements are just so clunky, it takes so long. Like the way you're trying to snap everything together, it just doesn't line up. It's just Yeah. It's irritating. It's gonna be the same thing for Starfield probably. So that's gonna be fun. What am I hitting? Does this come up? Yeah, this comes up right behind us. That's what I wanted. Yeah, this little building right here is good cover. Oh, good googly moogly. Oh, holy shit. Why are there so many floaters chasing me? Why are there so many of them? Okay, I'm... I'm, get it. I'm that's point blank. How is that... Miss. I can't even. This is horrible. Holy. There's so many of them. I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die. I'm going to die. Holy shit. Whole swarm of those little shits. I think the stealth suit actually saved me. Because it made me go invisible and they lost me. Look. That's amazing. I love you, stealth suit. I love you so much. Oh, there had to be like tw like ten or twelve of those little shits. Sheesh. That was insane. I think the the raiders are shooting at him now. That totally hit him, but whatever.
I don't, I don't think I can shoot through that, actually. That's probably what the problem is. He still can't see me. I'm literally invisible. He's a stupid bug. That totally went straight through him, whatever. Cool. Sheesh. That was brutal. I almost died from that. Chat is six minutes delayed? No way. That's crazy. How's it getting worse? Alright, for next stream, I might have to go back to the like regular poop quality then. That's the price you pay. You want a high quality stream. Oh, goodness. Oh, good. Good God. Yeah, these dudes all just rush me at once. Like, I can't really stealth through the entire thing. If, as soon as one sees me, the entire squad rushes me instantly. So I'm just gonna, you know, go over here. <laughs> See ya. Right? I'll re-engage later. <laughs> this dude said it's only 30 seconds, yeah. I guess you just have to refresh your page and then you'll you'll catch back up. So I do that. I should invisible, bro. Oh my! I couldn't even see him. Insta death from the minigun. What was the last time I saved? I did save before I left, right? Where my bike running. Okay, yeah, I saved right here. Okay, that was brutal though. I'm just gonna jump over this. See ya. Oh, I had to put death in chat by the way. I didn't even see that guy at all. Like no noise. I'm gonna rewatch that real quick. It was so foggy, you couldn't see anything. I'm looking back at it right now. Yeah, I couldn't. No. He was invisible, basically. He was just hiding in the fog. That's ridiculous. See, that's bullshit. Because the NPCs can see straight through the foggy weather, but I can't. I can't, though. So it would be nice if there was some kind of system where the weather actually played a role in the visibility for NPCs, but it doesn't. Because it's the fucking Bethesda. Also, my the character is extremely jittery on this bike right now. Look at this. It's very bumpy road today, huh? I'm just going to go this way. I want to kill these dudes. I want to kill these dudes just so I can prove I can kill them. <laughs> Dude, it's so bumpy. What the hell? I wonder how close I can get to them with the cell suit, though. Be very slow, though. Let's just go stealth mode. Sneak up. Fucking hell! Oh my, he's just waiting there! Is he just waiting there? As soon as I stood up, like, why are you just sitting in that random ass alleyway? This fucking guy, man. This dude's just camping. Cool. Balanced. Okay, let's show that again. I'm just gonna crush you on the entire time. I'm not moving. Nope. Let's do it like this. Yeah, he, how does he see me? How is he, how does it say caution? How does he how does he know? I'm literally in freaking I'm I'm invisible. I am invisible. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Stealth archer with an explosive arrow. That's hilarious. I like how they just don't know where I'm at too. I'm like huh? Oh. Yeah, so the whole fucking camp knows where I'm at now. At least I got that dude out of the way. Took all of her ammo too, so hopefully they- I don't think they can use it. Whoops. Look at these losers running around with melee weapons. What do you think you're gonna do with that, huh? I'm gonna do nothing. Oh god. I 
I missed. Oh, cover! Oh. What the hell? I can't see through the bush. I cannot see you through the bush, but you can see me, which is totally balanced. What the hell? Everything's going to blow up. Yeah, these readers do indeed have supervision. Like, they're literally using aimbot, they can just see through shit. They can see through fog and bushes. They're very balanced. Cool. I'm gonna shake this sword. No. There he is. What? Look at this. Look at this hitbox. Oh, my camera's way too slow now. Look at this. Look at this hitbox, dude. How can it be that bad? How on earth could the hitbox be that bad? How is it even possible? It is like, like five feet away from. Any sort of obstacle. How is that even possible? Okay, time to run away. I'm getting exploded over here. <laughs> I'm just eating so many stim bags. They can still see me even though I'm completely invisible. Oh, nice hitbox. Fuck this game, man. That's the true challenge. Just the shitty ass hitbox from this game. I'm just gonna run away and heal if you don't mind me. Also, I think my armor plate's probably broken. Might need to give me a new one of those. Yeah, miniguns are absolutely are absolutely brutal in this in this mod. It, I mean, it's a freaking minigun. What'd you expect? Miniguns are supposed to be extremely overpowered. It's a minigun. How do you see me? I'm completely invisible. This is bullshit. You fucking literally aimbot. Oh my. He knew I was going to run backwards. He threw the grenade behind me. Because he knew I was going to run away from the grenade. And I ran into the grenade. These fucking raiders are... How are they, how are they this big brain? Holy shit. This fucking game is absolute dog shit. Yeah, this true Skyrim Archer experience, truly. My goodness. How are they so smart? They can see me through fog, they can see me through bushes, they can see me while I'm totally invisible. Oh no, not invisible, but like there's a stealth cloak around me. Like, how do you see this? From like, 20 meters away. How do you see that? They're like from this far away and they can snipe me. You can't see that. Even if I zoom in, you can't see me. Look, I'm literally invisible. That's me right there, in the middle of the screen. You can't see it. How do they see me? Okay, you can barely see, like, some distortion right there, but yeah, I'm literally invisible. And they can just see me. So, that's cool. That's balanced. <laughs> like, something about... Dude, Fallout 4 stealth is just so busted. Skyrim stealth is in the opposite direction. Fallout, or Fallout 4 stealth is horribly bad. Like, it's useless. Skyrim stealth is extremely overpowered. You should just crouch down and people can't see you. In Fallout 4, you crouch down with in a bush, in foggy weather, at nighttime, wearing a stealth suit, and they still see you. She's just like, what the hell? Alright, fuck this bitch in particular. Oh, okay, she survived that one. That's so balanced. <laughs> I think because the first time I tried, I shot her in the face. That is a girl, right? It looks like a girl. Boy, sure, but I don't mis misgender this power armored raider. Or I should... They're gonna shred me. They can sense your presence, yeah, apparently. No oh, death right there. Also, this mod I have, the mod that introduces new raider gangs, it introduces some new, like, power armored bosses with miniguns, so... Combine all this together, it makes an absolutely brutal experience going against these, these raider camps. They have heat vision, apparently. How's it not kill you? That's some bullshit.
Okay. I mean, it is a minigun, but damn, the time to kill on that is literally like a quarter of a second. Fuck me. I don't know how I one shot her that first time. It is a girl, right? It, it looks like there's like long hair there. That's a female. Yeah, I'm, I'm correct. I correctly gendered this, this raider boss. He was absolutely shredding me. Don't worry, guys. I got it right. Don't cancel me. Get the freaking smiley face on a gas mask. <laughs> what kind of makeup is that? It looks kind of goofy. Bruh. Hammerhead is absolutely destroying me, for real. I don't know. I guess I'll try one more time. Did I put death on that last one? I don't even know. can't remember. Maybe. I think I might have to use a nuclear arrow on this bitch. Might as well. Knowing this game, I'll probably get it back too. Which is funny. Yeah, we got her. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the nuke arrow. That's how you do it. That is so fuck. That is so stupid. Yeah, that'll definitely one-shot him. I wonder if they can see me in this corner. Let's see. He just knows! He just knows I'm in the corner. Okay. This game, man. Can we get a more realistic still system, please? I installed a mod that's supposed to make it a little bit easier. Oh god, he, she just picked up the minigun. Oh god. I don't even want to play with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and explode it real quick. That works, okay. Ow. Stop moving. Peek it. Peek it. I missed. What the f- <gasps> Did you all just hear how many times that dude just rapid fired? This R700? He's went do 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 like a f he just bump fired an R seven hundred. What the fuck? Do 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 do. Bro's got a bump stock on an R seven hundred. What the? Fuck? That's so goofy. This game is so bugged, man. Yeah, guys, NPCs are fair and balanced. Oh god, they keep chucking grenades at me. I'm getting out of here. I can still I can still hear, hear that sniper going doop 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 like a semi-auto just about. That's ridiculous. Okay, can't see me right now. No, you're in that bush. Are you not wearing any clothes in your armor? Run! Fucking grenade kill me. Holy shit. That grenade explosion radius was ridiculous. Seems like the fuse is really short on it too. Like as soon as she threw it, I, I was running towards her. But it was already too late. Dude, this is the hardest raider camp yet. This raider camp is absolutely brutal. Sheesh. I was doing pretty good too, but these dudes are absolutely relentless. They will chase me down to the ends of the earth. Goodness gracious. Let's keep doing let's get, look, look. I'm gonna have to use the nuclear arrow against this bitch and power right for sure. Yeah, that was the mad minute for real. But just one person alone doing the mad minute. <laughs> That's so satisfying. I'll do that and like run away. Oh yeah, I forget. If I if I don't loot that, if I don't loot that dude, then they're gonna pick up the pet. They're gonna pick up the minigun though. Yeah, see, she picked it up. Freaking grenades! I'm getting the hell out of here. The fucking the van exploded and killed me. Holy shit! Whose bright idea was it to put a nuclear reactor inside of a car?
Why would you have a, a mini Chernobyl power plant just waiting to explode? Everywhere. My goodness, the Irish would love those cars in Fallout. They would go to town, bro. Sheesh. This is, this is brutal. This is the hardest Raider camp yet. These guys are relentless. Like, what I need to do, I guess, is... Uh, do I even have my plate on right now? I feel like I'm just dying way too quick. Mm, no, I don't have my plate equipped. That makes a huge difference. I just re I just realized that. Why am I not using the Juggernaut plate? Why am I not using that? That would make a huge difference. I'm so stupid. I should been Why have I not been doing this the whole time? This whole time. I was not armored going into that fight. No wonder why I was dying so quick. I'm stupid. That's what I'm saying. Dude, please. Please, this mod author. Please, I beg of you. Introduce a HUD element. Put it right here. That shows you the health of your armor plate. Please. Because I forget every single time. I don't know when I'm armored or not. I have to, I have to go in, into my inventory and look. Please, I beg of you. That'd be so awesome. Thank you. Cool. Still good mod, though. I, I, I really do like it. Yeah, quick save now. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have to re-armor every single time. Let's just keep on trying until I clear out this Raider Camp. I want to be this... You know, I gotta prove that I'm a good stealth archer. And I say that right as I use a nuclear arrow to kill somebody. <laughs> Do the... Oh, yes! Yes! Okay. Okay. Nobody else is touching this. You guys are not allowed to have this. No. No one's getting their hands on this. Out the window. Way over there. They will not find it. <laughs> there you go. Dude, I, I bolted it, man. I don't think I don't they have no clue where I'm at. They probably just thought their leader just spontaneously combusted. They probably thought her fusion core just blew up on her. They're like, what the hell? Like, ah, I think boss's fusion core just exploded. Holy crap, that's crazy. Yeah, that's why I don't wear power armor. Look at this hitbox. I'm floating on top of this van. I should probably just uninstall this car mod. That hitbox is huge. Look, I'm Jesus right here. I'm floating. Uh oh. I miss. I can't see my sight, so I'm missing. Well, oh, they see me. They're using their, their senses to detect me. You know, I'm just realizing I'm standing on top of a nuclear reactor right now, though. So maybe I should move. What do you? What do you guys think? I totally shot that. Dude. I'm gonna move before that. Before they blow me up. Shit. Close, close. Yep, there it is. Okay, blew up now. Now we're safe. I'm gonna stand up for this. I can't see. Shit. That grenade scream is irritating. Oh. I'm just gonna run over here, don't mind me. This is not working. This is not working. This is not working very well. This is, this is not working. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. They're throwing grenades at me! <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Nice hitbox. I can't hit the damn thing. <laughs> it's so stupid. That one was right. Okay. Oh! Hey! Screw you. That was a headshot. Nice. Give me that back. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting lit up.
still know I'm here. Sheesh. Now we, okay, there we go. Now we got caution. Need to heal again. Damn, dude. I'm just constantly spamming bandages over here. How do you see me? Stop throwing grenades! This is worse than that one mission in World at War. I think we have the unlimited supply of grenades, too. Oh, it's the hitboxing again. Look, that arrow is actually floating. See? Look, those, both those arrows are just floating right there. Oh, cool. That's hilarious. Deathclaw Gauntlet? Cool. I can't see my sight. I'm just better off just hip firing. Please. Okay. Ooh, headshot. Nice. Sheesh. This is quite a challenge, though, for sure. I'm, I'm regretting picking this option for a weapon restricted run. Oh, hello. I missed. Rush! Yes. <laughs> that melee attack is good. Good God, dude. I wonder if I got all of them yet. <laughs> Please. Please say I did. I, I just spammed atomic cocktail? What the hell? Shit! <laughs> Shit! Head explodes. Might be like one more. Those guys were aggressive as hell. Usually the NPCs are rather passive and they'll just hide behind cover, but I've got that uh arbitration mod. Or is it, it's not is it arbit I don't know, I have some mod enabled which makes NPCs a lot more aggressive. And that makes things a lot harder, like damn. They're all chasing me down. Oh, that's a headshot, nice. I think that last dude just has like a pipe pistol or something. But anyway. His armor's kind of bugged out. He's not wearing any under armor. He's gonna bleed out, watch. <laughs> nice. I still another dude. My goodness. Oh. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I did it. it. Took very many attempts. But I think I've proved that you can't really with my mod setup at least you can't really be a stealth archer. They're going to find you no matter what. Like they're way too OP. They can just find you. It doesn't matter if you're freaking invisible. They're going to find you. So that's super balanced. What the hell is that guy using? Oh god, that's a grenade launcher. Her name is Queenie. Come on, one more time. That other dude's throwing grenades at me. Headshot. Nice. Headshot, headshot. Beautiful. Okay. I think I finally killed everybody in this cursed raider camp. That was brutal. There's still- nope. One more. Okay, got him. Dude, they can lob those damn- They can lob those grenades. Like a professional baseball player. Shoot. Is that realistic? How far can people throw grenades? I assume they're like- I assume you can throw them shits pretty far though. I don't know. Unfortunately, I do not own grenades, so I cannot test that theory. That'd be awesome, though. If I could. Yeah, that was brutal. But we finally killed all of them. Nice.
<sighs> You're gonna release your release your perk overall. Like the idea of damage, of, you know, of perks increasing XP rather than damage. Yeah, I'll have to get around to all that eventually. Like I'm working on. Um, right now, I'm working on like a big update for the hardcore health overhaul, and I'll introduce some patches for several mods. But it just takes a long time to make mods, especially since I'm trying to play the game. Oh, they had a freaking bronze cider. That's what they were using. That's interesting. It just takes a long time to actually play the game and make videos at the same time. So obviously, I'm going to prioritize my content first because, you know, that's that's what I'm doing. That's the main thing. My main thing is not being a mod author. Like, I'll do it. I'll make some mods, but it's going to be on the back burner. Making the videos is more important. But I certainly would like to get around to that. It's not going to be next week. It's not going to be tomorrow, that's for damn sure. A little bit more time before I come with a big, a big giant uh, update for the hardcore health overall. I'll get around to it eventually. Nice. Okay. Well, that was a total waste of time, but it was it was interesting. I was trying to test my skills. And really, this is, about as, this is about as upgraded as I can get. You know, like I said, for this run, no power armor, no guns, no nothing else. The only weapon I can use is the crossbow or the bow. No power armor, so... You know, I think the stealth suit is the best bet. I can't think of anything else to make my character stronger at this point. Just craft more nuke arrows, I suppose. Right? Just keep on crafting explosive arrows. I can't craft nuke arrows just yet. I'd have to spam intelligence first. So that was fun. Alright, where's my bike? Let's go and teleport that in. Do you still about 700? Quite a bit. You can always look at my... Uh, I guess I've seen a bunch, but... My mod list is linked in the description of all my videos, so go take a look if you want to take a look. Not in the live stream, I'll do that later. I'll do that for the next stream. trying to find the armor plate mod you're using, but there's two. Yeah, there are two. There are two, and they're very similar. But the one I'm using right now, I think, is way better. Get back to the boat house first. I should go on the other bridge over here. The explosion bridge. Don't hit the tripwire, though. Why is there a mine there? Also, the mines explode instantly as soon as you run over them, which is stupid. I mean, it, that's how mines work, but not in Fallout. In Fallout, they beep. But for some reason, when you're on the motorcycle, they, they explode instantly. Which is obviously dumb. Because you can't do anything about it. You just die instantly. And you really don't have enough time to look for the mines either. So that's cool. Last time, I, I literally won that same exact spot last time too. And Cool game. Don't put that death in the chat. That's embarrassing. I've died a lot this, this, this stream. Ten times now? Sheesh. So yeah, anyways, the armor plate mod I'm using is called Replaceable Armor Plates. Use that one. That's the better one. Yeah, that, that bridge right there is loaded with traps. Like, damn. it's not. I wasn't even on the bridge yet. I thought it was only on the bridge. But no, there's some mines before the bridge as well. So that's cool. And I have to cross that bridge to get to the Tappington Boathouse. So that's cool. I don't have to cross that one, but I mean, it's the fastest way to get there. Bonk. Like, if I stop, right? Mine. I even have the light footed perk. Yeah, see, it was this mine right here. Let's go and just clear this shit out. 
there's another mine over here somewhere. Get out of here. I'm not going to pick that up. Look at those motorbikes just in the ground. I think I thought there was another mine. Oh, there's one. Okay. Level up, boy. Yeah, I guess I can do that. I have six skill points available. That's horrible. Good God. Is it getting lower each time? I need to like... I need to go get the agility bubble head so I can get this max out and sneak. But yeah, now I'll just... I actually, I want to level up medicine so I can get the... You know, so I can heal faster and stuff like that. I'll get to sneak 100 later. Oh, I put 91. Okay. But yeah, from now on out, I mean... Here on out, just level up medicine, sneak, and then, you know, obviously I don't need pickpocket, I don't need melee, I don't need rifles, I don't need unarmed, I might need science if I want to get some more upgrades, I don't need hacking, I don't need lock picking. I don't need heavy weapons, I don't need explosives, don't need chemistry, barter's useful, so there's like half of these, half of these skills I don't even need to level up whatsoever. But still, I'm, like... I'm leveling up pretty fast, right? Because I got Epiphany from, but I'm, my skills are leveling leveling up kind of slow because I have one intelligence. And each level of intelligence you have gives you, gives you an extra skill point per level. So, if I had 10 intelligence, I would have 16 perk points per level, I think. But I'm only getting 6. So I'd literally, I would be getting more than double if I had 10 intelligence. Which is a big difference. Oh yeah, I need to tele teleport my bike here. My junk's on there. What a journey it's been. Huh. Backpack's not on there. How do I put it on? Equip? Yeah, there we go. Now I can take all this shit out. I can just take all. There we go. I can actually build some turrets. All that work. I had to go all the way back just to build one stupid turret. That's the cool thing about survival. Oh, I didn't even realize I can build these modern warfare turrets. Modern warfare machine guns. <laughs> I can build one of those. Yeah, that, that's, that's very imbalanced. Yeah, sure. Let's just... What's, what's the difference? Get rid of this stupid tree. Get out of here. So this one... This one's 762. Why is it invisible? Well, I can't craft it. That's why. So yeah, we'll just go with this one. That, that, that works. Okay, there we go. Cool, now... All that work and now I have to go right back to Pam. Wow. Awesome. I'm gonna edit this into a short video. It's not gonna be short. This is not gonna be a 10 minute video. This is gonna be like... <sighs> Dude, this video could easily be 30 minutes. It's gonna be a long... Dude, I already have like... With this stream included, it's going to be 24 hours worth of footage, I think. So i got a lot of footage to sort through. So, yeah. Uh, it's, I don't, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make... I'm going to try and keep this video under an hour. Because I don't want it to be stupid long. You know, ideally, I would say 45 minutes. Maybe even shorter. I'm going to try and cut, do my best to cut out as much stuff as I can. Because, you know, I think if you get to the point where, like, a video is, like, a, over an hour or two hours long, you're like, okay, that's too long, man. Um, so if I can make this video into, like, 30, 40 minutes, something, something like that, that's a good thing. You know, like, it, it, it'll be very similar to the zombie survival playthrough. Like, I'm sure quite a few of you guys are familiar with that. If not, then go watch it, right? The zombie survival playthrough... The first video was 40 minutes. The second one was 57, actually. It was super long. I was trying my best to cut it out, but there was just so much stuff in that. Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. But yeah, this playthrough already has a ton of footage. Almost 24 hours worth, I believe, so... It's going to be hard to cut that down into a short video. It's going to be at least 30, 40. Including 
bloopers? Yeah, maybe. That'd be an awful save. I just don't want the video to be stupid long. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm out of control. I'm flying my bike over there. This, the physics on this thing are so stupid. Look how goofy this looks. <laughs> that was horrible. That was absolutely stupid. Does the motorcycle cause any loading issues? Yeah. Sometimes if you go too fast, you, like, you just won't load in. And you'll be going faster than the game can handle. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know, I know you guys would watch it, would watch it, no matter how long it is. Because you're the type of guys... Obviously, if you're watching a live stream then you're the type of person who will sit down and watch something that's like stupid long. You said you watch something that's three hours. Like, yeah, you'll do that, but you know, I do have to understand that I'm trying to make my videos to try and appeal to a big audience. And most people are not going to watch a three hour video. So definitely going to keep it under an hour. Tommy. Hour max, man. Hour has got to be the max. At that point, it just become too slow paced. And plus, I don't want to make the video too long for me, right? Because if I end up making the video over an hour, man, that's just going to be a lot of work. I have to come up with all the scripts and everything. I don't know what to say. So it's better for me as well, so I can get the video out a little bit faster. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> What's in the cache? Yeah, well, yeah. tell me. Ah, oh, fuck you. However, if the cache is secured, it increases our organization's effectiveness by 2%. Oh my god, bro. Margin of error is 3%. The cache <laughs> is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device oh my god, will bro. locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Nice. Correct. The cache belonged to the Defense Intelligence Agency. I like how they're called the, the DIA DIA's instead of the CIA. technological capabilities were more advanced than many branches of the government. <laughs> you only have to secure the cache. <laughs> Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Is that Game Boy? You good? Terminating Probably. human mission. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. Yo, this is my mom's credit card number. The three wacky numbers. On the oh, there's no numbers on the back. What the hell? It's a scam. I've never done this mission before in my entire life. That's crazy thing about. Alright, that is pretty close, but I'm tired. I'm absolutely tired. I am beat after trying to clear that one raider camp, man. That was horrible. By horrible, I mean it was an extremely fun experience. It was a good learning experience, that's for sure. I'm gonna take a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Also, I need some right away. My goodness, I slipped a bunch of rats. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, East Death. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think that's good. I think that's enough for today. I'm tired. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. I don't know about y'all, but that, that was, that was, today was absolutely brutal. <laughs> Yeah, I am tired too. I'm gonna go to sleep soon. It's 9.45 for me. Call me an old man, but I had a long day today. I'm working out so hard, man. <sighs> How big is that delay? I want to see delay. I want to wait for you guys to say goodbye first. Oh yeah, there's... That's not that bad. I'm tired. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but that, that was, go. that was, today was absolutely brutal. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for stopping by. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream. I had a fun time, although it was absolutely brutal, as I said. <laughs> I'll be back for more. Because as we know, I absolutely love this terrible game. <laughs> Uh, what a what a crazy challenge though, freaking stealth archer. It's such a funny meme. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm gonna go to sleep. 
I'm gonna take a take a nap. Big long nap. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody. Because as we know, I absolutely love this terrible game. Ha, 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 ha.